going caffeine, I'm going Boozer Cuss. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Staple. Can you just always pack better? that? Professional. He's practiced. No, like, I'm, I mean, like you did with the water Oh, cans. beer. Oh, beer is always cracked. Oh, yeah, we had some water cans. Oh, like de- like liquid I think death. it's, you know, it, you know, this is the most, th- these are the most patented thing in the world, our beer, our lids to Coke, Coke cans. Oh, really? There might be something to it where they're like, because that crack, man, I it, to, it's infectious as shit. I need to read more. Yeah. <laughs> There's different kinds of crack, you know? Uh-huh. Indeed. <laughs> well, this shout is one out. of the cool kinds. This is the one the kids can do. I'm going to go this one off the top, though. Shout out to, um, was it Tara? Uh, yeah. Tara, Tinker, Inc., and Rolling Wraps. Dude, I show up, I'm sitting at Vino's the other day. She brings yeah. me this box. She goes, here, oh. I made you something. Oh. It's fucking these things. That, well, yeah, I noticed that you had them created, but you just got these then. then yeah, right? no, I didn't. Or I, these they were, were a created, gift. Yeah. yeah, they were created. Like, well, how awesome. sick is that? So, these are fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, very cool. The Just coolest a testament fucking, to some uh-huh. artistic shit. Some these are the cool new, abilities. No more green foam. We're fucking moving on up, daddy. Yep. Yeah, awesome space, like I said here. You've really, like, changed it up. It looks great. Right. We just did this today. This is the first edition to Merch Wall. Oh, so if y'all awesome. got any small band shirts sitting in the fucking merch shop somewhere. Yeah, the, the ones that have been there for uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a year yeah. plus. The shit you'll never sell to you. Give it to us. Yeah, they don't like the baby sizes. <laughs> for some reason, the minus X. Baggy's back, man. <laughs> right. Dude, you can fucking yeah. put I'll- a- I'll find something. I'll Put think a tub of something. L's and XL's and you'll sell every one of them. Yeah. I think that Pet's got like a small shirt that's sitting around and been tinkered around for a little bit. And I'll throw it your way. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, because oh, yeah. I, I, th- I think we did the math. I can fit about seven shirts on there visually. And then we'll just go through them. It's prime real estate you know, right it's now. It's prime real estate. <laughs> I can come. I can throw well, something down. Not yet. We got to get the other camera. So when it faces the actual get, you know, when we're doing the <laughs> yeah. ones and twos, that'll be Ooh, a lot better. Yeah. That's yeah. going to be sweet. <laughs> camera one, camera two. That's well, we did that for a couple episodes and then we figured out it takes 17 hours to make one. So we're like, let's get that back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Who's got that kind of time? It's Minecraft Steve. <laughs> Minecraft Steve. Yeah, exactly. I left out of there curious. About who else I missed that was just a character that deserves more spotlight more on him, to be spotlight. honest. I can't remember what the other one I'd used was, but it was uh, the little, the dog, the little little puppy. From Minecraft? They have the no, a Minecraft dog I don't think on there so. too? They weren't very blocky. Okay. <laughs> they were definitely a little bit more textured. I clearly haven't played that game in a while because I was like, what is Neither. all this new shit? I know. You got 400 different people on there. I, GameCube days was my last Super Smash Brothers oh experience. Oh my God. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd never owned a Wii or anything like that. So I had the Wii U, and to be honest, it was subpar. As yeah. it, it wasn't that great. Left a little to be desired. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was not like, like. But I, I feel like they had to have that stepping stone to get it, to the switch. That's you right. could yeah, see, they'd have eight different Wiis. It was one of those <laughs> things where it was like you could see what they were trying to do, but yeah. they kind of just failed. Yeah. You know, for being, but the problem is it's Nintendo. Yeah. That's the biggest issue. Yeah. And you know what? I am going to talk shit about the Nintendo people who are very <laughs> smart and make machines that work games like that yeah. all the time because yeah. we deserve better. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, we gave you the money. You deliver the right. goods. Yeah. I know you're smarter than this. <laughs> I know you're more capable than that. Yeah. Imagine if they would have tried to make the Switch more like the Wii U, like put that like. Honestly, Weird functionality in it. being with these mitts, that bigger controller was real fucking nice. Yeah. I mean, they need our input. IPad. I mean, it was an iPad in your hand. Yeah. And they need us on the payroll, I think, is what needs to change That's what, here. You know what? Miyamoto, hit me up, <laughs> yeah. dog. Like, Send us I the paperwork. Ideas. We'll have it filled out by the end of the Just day. Just Nintendo America, Twitter, whatever, you know. Yeah. Tweet, tweet at me. It only takes 70% a piece. That math adds up. Don't, <laughs> don't even think about it too hard. <laughs> So round two, what you been up to, man? It's been a few years. Yeah, yeah. And then a bunch of shit happened after that. Well, you know, the whole fucking world went to piss for when a little what, bit. When was that? It was like, Mar- it was like March of 2019? March of or 2020. 20. 20. Oh, right so before I get the confused fun began. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, music galore, still rolling and doing different stuff. You know, last time I sat with you, I think Pet was pretty new. I think it was like, brand new. Yeah, it was like we were working on a recording. Yeah. We probably had maybe played a show or two, if that. But um, it's... You know, still happening, still moving and grooving. And uh, yeah. we had an EP that we put out here a little while ago. Didn't y'all play Furnace Fest? Yeah. That's uh, well, f- we played Furnace Fest pre show. Listen, which. Then you played Furnace Fest, <laughs> right. all right? <laughs> it's billed as such, then fucking yeah, you did. Yeah, it was a great time, too. Which, like, y'all were out there as well. Too. Oh, I dude, know, I, I saw y'all. y'all had I, it. So he told me that on the way up there, and I was like, that's cool. Yeah. 
my mind just erased it because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm fucking hanging out with Normandy. My <laughs> mind is just all over the place. And then yeah. I see y'all, and I'm like, it didn't even click. <laughs> I know like, those cats. Yeah, I was like, hey, what are y'all doing here? Like, yeah. completely fucking out of my mind. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> all of us took that as one of those experiences that you're just like, oh, well, you don't get to do this shit every day. And no, then, like, no, it just kind of rolled out the way that it did. And it was a awesome time. I saw Mastodon at Quicksand, which, you know, those oh. were two bands I was just like, fuck, yeah. I've never seen LC. Mastodon, but that seems like it'd be a fun live show. Yeah, and that was, like, did y'all not get it, be able to stick around for that? Dude, fucking <laughs> literally, like, show ends. It's like, hey, get the person over here, start counting shit out, fucking yeah. get in the van and go home. Because <laughs> the they drove all, we drove all the way back here. Oh, yeah, yeah that tough. That night. night. Tough night. Dude. A tough evening. Like, yeah. it was, and what sucks is, like, it took a while because, you know, like packing down and everything and putting everything up and the merch people were scattered all over the fuck. That took longer than the the, like the, the yeah. musician part of it. Yeah, you're hearing all these bands you want to see in the background while you're doing uh, professional shit. Oh, yeah, shit. We, we were leaving and Thrice was going on and yeah. I was like, ah, and I love Thrice. <laughs> were they who played one album? Did they play like a It was like a play anniversary and then a okay. couple of, uh, you know, they're going to sprinkle in some other shit. But yeah. yeah, it was like a full from front to back. I know Pat loves them, but I need to go explore more of their catalog. The, I the haven't thing really... with Thrice is it's like they got an album for you because they're not one genre. Yeah. You know, they're kind like the one band that made it famous that they can just do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. This like, is pretty cool. Rock album too. They, oh, they have a radio rock album for sure, but they have a, a heavy album. I mean, not only am I okay fire. with that, I implore them to do it again. <laughs> Nowadays, see, when I was young, I was very, I was very much of the don't sell out. Like that's fucking bullshit now. Like he just told me what Turnstile's making on this Blink One Eighty Two tour. Yeah, I'll sell all crazy. the way out. That's a, I'll, I'll sell all the way out. <laughs> it's an insane tour right there. Dude. I mean, you got Blink One Eighty Two, who's you know losing their minds now. Yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> and saying the dumbest shit they can. Conceive. They're they're fucking. I mean, that's what money does to you. It corrupts your mind. <laughs> and Turnstile's just like, well, sure, we'll ride that. They're train. like, it's how much money? Yeah, we'll sign right here. You right. want some of our blood? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's that's like, yeah. That shit, you're just like, well, that's what. Real, oh, Jimmy Kimmel tonight. <laughs> well, oh, that's sure. <laughs> well, well, that's what happens too. when life is easy. Your brain is allowed to function on a higher level, yeah. and you start doing some wild shit. <laughs> yeah, no, they're playing night shows now. <laughs> that's just crazy to me <laughs> that that band is playing night shows. Which, like, not saying that band just a band that's like heavy like that. A band that you'd be like. Maybe a couple of years ago, coming through Vino's. Absolutely. And you'd be like, oh, hell And they yeah, probably look, did, and them. nobody knew, you yeah. know? Played to 40 people. But that's so... <laughs> dude, that's... Uh, when I was, One of the only ones I can really point to that I remember being at, like, the week before was, like, Thursday. Yeah. It's like, one week, they're just some band in Vino's, and, like, literally the fucking next week, they're th the Thursday we all yeah. know now. Which they're playing Furnace Fest this year. Yes, they are. <laughs> so and that's uh, one of the bigger, like, all right, goddamn, I've not... Yeah. They were like on the fourth line down on some things, weren't they? That that's a testament to your like booking right there. Uh -huh. is you can have bands like everybody recognizes sitting like low as hell on the oh. on the band listing. Some of the well, then you get the people who get mad. They're like, why aren't they playing later? It's like, first <laughs> off, I think most of those bands, especially at their age, they're just stoked to be there. Oh yeah, because they're making bang it out and good then like, money. Yeah, hang out. Hang, it's a hangout. Dude, like yeah. the whole oh. thing is a giant fuck yeah. around. Yeah, like it's not. It is a festival. It is a job. Whatever. Blah 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 blah. Next track for you, Kurt. Oh, that did nothing. Oh, it's that good was stuff. fucking. Terrible. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> also, Jasani. Hey, boost that in post. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Now we're rolling. Well, we, we've seen the other side of it too. We, got, and we know that most of those dudes don't want a headline. They don't uh, want yeah. it. No, who the fuck wants to do that? I think They're any really musician, band. yes, any musician nowadays that's like been through it Dude. and understands what it go, how it goes like, down, does not want a headline. Uh, no, that is like what you stay away from nowadays. It we're feels bringing like. Lame Johnny out of the dirt, yeah. again for the first time in three years, and they were like, "What, what position do you want to play?" And I was like, first. Yeah, I want to play first. Like I want it. I want us. I, our my new goal is to, for Lame Johnny to be the world's best opening act. <laughs> best opening act. That's a cool shirt right there. <laughs> well, Lame Johnny, world's best opening. Yeah. act. that is a good shirt. Yeah. Fuck. Write that shit down. I'm done. Well, it's, it's recorded. <laughs> Shit's in history now. Write it digitally. New Lame Johnny merch. Actually, I mean, we have a merch. We have a t-shirt thing now, so we can actually print out merch. Like, nothing. oh, you have like a printing press. Yeah, good business there. Yeah. Well, we were like. We want to do something a little different. So, like, our whole goal is to, like, not with just, like, but, like, I'm in, like, three bands with the same five guys. Yeah. But our whole goal is Easy to, enough. like, try <laughs> what to band make, are we practicing tonight? Try to make, so, duh, it's usually all three. Yeah. yeah. It's like, or we'll do yeah. one one day, one the next day. Uh, 
but like we want to like do something a little bit different where we can make it like right then and there. Yeah. For like that show. Like let's make five for just this show. A day of like, like when it's a cool build. Cause that's what we kind of been boiled down to is like, we only want to do really fun shit. So why not like be able show to show specific shirts, very specific shirts. Yeah. Like if it's I mean, pet and my hands to war and whoever. And, and it's like just those three bands. We build it this whole big thing and we want to fucking sell, you know, 200 like representation tickets. Of everybody and so you on just there, put yeah. a thing and you just do one shirt. Like how sick is that? I mean, that would be a damn good idea to like have come to fruition too. It's like, like and having that kind of a resource a available. A big band idea yeah. trickled down into a small version. You know, we're only making yeah. five of these because Lord knows we're only going to sell five <laughs> if we're <Yeah>. lucky. <laughs> I mean, like, I know that ain't cheap printing stuff like that but i mean like if you can recoup it in that same night i mean it you know, is what it that's, is that's kind of the thing it's like you buy the shirts bulk you buy yeah. like a hundred you know yeah. and then you just every time you do so like it'll take a long time to pay off but damn, we all got jobs and shit like right. you know, everybody's a little bit more capable of funding the uh, music know, stuff it seems like nowadays you know if it's happening age, correctly that, that's the one good thing about that aging <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's like we're all splitting it right oh it's only ten dollars when five of us pay for it <laughs> man I, we say that but i don't know about you but it, it's a testament to the scene and like everybody's music stuff, like pretty much thriving right now. But you know, you can make some pretty good money playing like some local shows nowadays. In the Brother, sense of like make... for Vino's, Whitewater, all of them, like people are coming out. I is think the main point. Just of those shows. Well, that is the point. Yes. And new people that like, like and you got is... bands like that one up there that's doing like a lot of work towards bringing like new people up and like Dude, new it's, people it's, out it's, to the shows. It's a yeah. whole new thing. It's yeah. a whole new thing. We're in a fuck. It. It's not. It's no longer a renaissance. It's now its own version of our history. <laughs> And we're going to all, you know, whatever years down the road, we're just old men sitting at the bar watching the kids That's play. That's us going, right now. I know. <laughs> we but are I'm the old saying we're still bar. in bands <laughs> soon. Right. I feel like the metal, at least, like, sure, indie rock and stuff, where we can yeah. all just kind of sit there. Like, maybe Fine. a couple country acts will start popping up here soon. <laughs> right. Evan will be in them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're all pretending and like, I, I've always loved boots, man. What are you yeah, talking about? I've always loved the little star on the back of them, too. <laughs> yeah, that you spin. yeah. Oh, the spur? <laughs> It has a name. It's, it's not spur, called the yeah. Boot Star. No. <laughs> it is now. Well, damn. Boot Star. Like I said earlier, I need to read more. Yeah. <laughs> That's very land before time of you. <laughs> Tree Stars. I need to go to more Cavenders. <laughs> I need to take more trips to Cavenders is really what it is. Dude, that store rocks. I'm, and actually, you would been. you would fucking dress well in a calendar. They would love you yeah. at calen uh, calendars. <laughs> calendars. See, that, that alone shows you how little I've now, been. That's a spot in the mall, dog. <laughs> they sell it at the kiosk. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh man, nothing beats a nice pearl button down. It's like that's what I wish I I wore. Instead, I wear flannels. But uh, a pearl flannel man. snap down, man. A flannel man. No, yeah. I am too. Like I I don't have one on right now, so it defeats my point. <laughs> but usually, more often than not. Well, you know, you don't know. We're in that weird part of the year where it's like, oh, it's thirty this morning. Well, it's yeah. seventy tonight. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's moving its way there. <clears throat> I literally just took a fistful of B twelve and D D D three <laughs> vitamins before <laughs> we like, started. Fortify. So I don't get sick. <laughs> Gotta fortify. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, a good combination. Vitamin T I C K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, doctor prescribed. <laughs> when you, you know, hey, I did get health insurance. Adulthood. A big fist pump on that one. <laughs> now I got to find a doctor. You live so close to a hospital too. So, oh, well, no, this is Kurt's house. I forget. Yeah, no, 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 but no, no, Kurt, no. you live so close to a hospital, you can get hurt at any time and be totally. The okay. helicopter like is literally right there. <laughs> oh, that that must be so cool to live next to a <laughs> helicopter just, landing and taking go, off all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are we being too loud? <laughs> That's like the pilot. Oh, it would take them longer to take off than it would to get here, land, get him, and go. Oh, my Which, goodness. like, is that but, annoying at all? But I think okay. I was talking to somebody at that little event yesterday, the merch swap fair yeah, thing. Cool stuff too. Uh, the Bitterfest merch swap, and I was thinking, who the fuck was I talking to? It wasn't you. It was a group of us. I was too busy gaming. You were. You yeah, were gaming hard, Steve. 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 Minecraft Steve. <laughs> Minecraft Steve. Uh, <laughs> Shout out Minecraft Steve. Nintendo. <laughs> you were like, fuck it. I'm just going to Nintendo, we need cards. a standalone <laughs> Minecraft Steve story. Why don't we already have it? But I was talking to somebody, and I was like, you know, I think we've passed the whole, the, you know, the renaissance thing. We're trying to get people in here, da 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 like everybody fighting. Like, let's. So now that the lift up is happening, you get these generations. Now we're seeing these. I mean, there's young kids everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And which is so... I think I I was like, I don't know that there will be another crash because now our population is so much bigger. Yeah. I mean, it's triple the size from when we were young coming through. Yeah. Literally. I mean, I don't remember shows having like 
it's almost a default nowadays. So it's like, I don't want to jinx it, but it's well, almost a default that 40, 50 people usually come out. But that's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know that you can. Yeah. I think we've reached a point now where there are just so many people that exist. Yeah. <laughs> having the things out there, they need some shit to do. Yeah. And I think, for better or worse, the pandemic did get us out of our homes a little more, especially when it was over. We were all like, you know what? This kind of fucking stinks. Yeah, the world kind of sucks. Yeah, so, I mean, like, like music is something cool is to turn to. Shitty as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's like people like my sister is 20 and she's of the age now where she's like putting up her like Instagram stories of a Deftones record playing. And I'm just That's like, wild. <laughs> interesting that things turn out the way that they do. It and like seeing, uh, you know, the music that you love and appreciate getting like handed down to you know, cool. people that. We're talking about that earlier, you just have yeah. to last long enough to be relevant again. <laughs> right <laughs> the lulls man the lulls are what will kill you kill us all right. you know yeah and then you know that turns into people wanting to start their bands you know and the tiktoks of the world and things like that so you know you're seeing many, all the music like things I've that are coming out that hit way. me up about drums i haven't had someone ask me a drum question in a handful of years yeah and in the last i'd say few months probably since like november i've had probably five or six people be like oh what do you think i'm like holy shit yeah <laughs> and they're like new to it yeah. You're like they need some advice or something. It's just like, shit, yes, dude. And, and also more people need to play fucking drums. <laughs> it's tough. That's what I was just about to say. Like you have to have so much more fall into place to play and practice and get better at drums. Ben like money. It, that guitar, too. Four hundred bucks. Yeah. Go get you a first act a and then fuck around on that. I mean, for you could literally bit. be a guitarist <laughs> in a band for a cool four hundred. Yeah. And and it not even be that That's bad, right. no. Drumming? But, oh no. The the time the spacing alone that you need to like have the sound blocked off. <laughs> Uh, to practice to and practice get good it. That's at the it, motherfucker. Because all your neighbors are gonna hate you. So now yeah, you they're gonna hate kids. You. you gotta have electric one at home. You gotta have a fucking real one at your jam spot. Yeah. Which that's kind of like. I mean, I get that. You know, having an electric drum kit is really nice because it's like I can do whatever I want. There's that money but coming again, into play again. Yeah. Two thousand dollars for like the for like the good mid level one. Like we don't have. Yeah, I couldn't tell you how much they are too. So I mean, uh, <laughs> sir, <laughs> I mean, amount. they got three hundred dollar electric drum kits, but they don't have anything to offer you as far as yeah, like, they're you're Fisher not Price. Really better at <laughs> yeah. something. You're just gonna. It's like, it's like a better version of what was that game? Rock Band. Yeah, those drums. It's like slightly better than that. But then the next step up is you're in the thousands already. That sucks. I, I understand why. Well, and, it's, not a lot of people buying them. That's yeah. it. That's the whole thing. But the numbers like people, have come down. But they go all the way up to $10,000. Yeah, and I guess you're right. And the people that would buy those way more often than not are people who are already established drummers to like have that secondary resource yeah, to play them spend, on. But Unless your parents just got it like that or you do, you can't just spend two grand on a fucking new hobby. Yeah. I, mean, I wish. I mean, you can. Yeah, I have one in the apartment in the middle of the floor right now. I've definitely away. seen it. I've seen a couple moms roll through a guitar center and buy a full stack for their baby, baby that just started. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Christmas time. Fuck? Hey, ma'am, they make a. Let me point you to this Fender, <laughs> you know, this right. fucking deluxe, this little tiny boy. But also, uh, you know, some of the younger drummers that you got coming up, and I've referenced them before, like Zasht and then like Salon Blonde and a bunch of these folks that are coming out, like young drummers or pretty damn talented like Fire. right off the jump yeah like they're just in the pocket they're they got shit they can go fills are sweet yeah when i was a kid i had nothing yeah i had to listen figure it out and, it, and and if i wanted to write my own shit it's just like well i don't have anything to reference i don't have anything to pull from the best thing i have is turn on mtv yeah and you, hope they show you the drummer which they never do yeah no one gave a fuck and then youtube evolved <laughs> and then youtube became like when i was in high school is when youtube came out and it was like a television yeah. And there was like seven videos on that fucking thing. It sucked. <laughs> What's your favorite YouTube video? Was a much more like graspable conversation. Uh, no, my, my favorite YouTube was actually that uh, uh, Unforgivable for the longest time. Oh, I do remember that. Uh, that bitch's chicken tasted like sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, how far we've come. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, but like just having those resources available for Dude, like, just the, like the I, I, want, I really want to be able to use my foot as a double, like on a thing. And it's like you can just type the shit in. Yeah. And there's infinite uh, information to give you all the answers. And you're yeah. like, fuck, dude, that's so sick. 
And what a good time for them to be all firing on all cylinders and clicking because of the people that are coming out extra now. Like, uh, and they're all so fucking talented. Yeah. It's insane. I was yeah. literally watching Zash those bastards. Over. I think it was you. <laughs> and I was like, I don't remember being this talented at their age. Yeah. It's just one of those things where you can like feel the energy coming from it. And like the people are responding to it the way that they are. And it's just one of those, like we look at each other and we're just like, well, damn. Well, <laughs> yep. Well, <laughs> well, I suppose they're doing pretty well, huh? <laughs> Guess we're going to go back to the practice space yeah. and get not so Sucky. <laughs> I'm going to play till my fingers bleed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than being a musician that you're hard on yourself. Cause you, the second you see someone yeah. just blow you out of the water, you're like, well, I'm just, I don't even know why I'd do this to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not for that love of the game shit. <laughs> yeah. So y'all in the studio or something, Pet? So not Pet. Pet is uh, not in the studio now. We will be as soon enough because like three or four of the songs that we play in our set are unrecorded and are ready to be put down. So that's good. Y'all but, a DP um, band? Not uh, shooting for So records. far, I mean, we could put out an LP if we really sat down. Yeah. It, we probably have nine songs oh, that we yeah, have well, not like, an LP. but not even gotten back to in a while though. One of those things where you back pocket them and then we like have shows and we just kind of roll yep. them. Like, oh, we do have 12 songs that we're ready to right. play, but we have to go back and revisit them and flourish them out and everything. But uh, Pet's not, but I am doing a new band here recently. Uh, it's called Stressor. Okay. And it's me and Dan Daniel Cox and Shane from uh, Color Design. Okay. And it's just a three piece. It's just us. Oh, a three piece. Us banging out some 90s style. Like, uh, really? I, I, I would say grunge, but that's just me being a genre idiot. Uh, Quicksand was definitely the conversation that we started, like, okay. to go into that with. Uh, I'm playing guitar and singing in that band. Hey. So it's definitely a new thing for me, like lyric writing and stuff. Tough, isn't it? Which, when we first came on here before, I was talking to you about, like, doing harmonies for Pit, which, you know, has continued to do that and then kind of like stepped off into doing a right. project of its own and kind of stepped into that role. Uh, but we have been recording. We've got like three songs that we put down at uh, Tedford's at Wolfman. Nice. And um, yeah, those are getting worked on a little bit and got a little bit more to do on them. Uh, one of them will be like you can do them like drop. singles, single just drops, ones. just ones. Yeah. yeah, in which we have a show that we're going to be like hopping on here in like mid March. So y'all haven't played a show at Not all. Yet. So it's no. all new. very fresh. Nice. Yeah, very fresh. And uh, maybe I'll show you a little clip after we're yeah. done doing this Stressor, in a little bit. Huh? Yeah, nice. yeah. It's uh, it's like a little heavier or something. I've because I've been wanting to get back to playing in a heavier band for a little while uh, since I was afraid is like not been doing a lot right now but which we'll come just, back to but you just crave it yeah there's something about it first, folks. I was afraid it's coming back <laughs> yeah there, there's just it's, something about yeah I was afraid yeah yeah just a passing comment I was afraid you'd say that I can't wink hard yeah, I can't wait to hear all those again just, when where tell us now we know you're thinking of stuff yeah it's it's a conversation it hadn't really grown past that at the moment but uh, just from everybody being busy on other stuff yeah, you do. know me doing you know pet and now stressor on the plate uh evan's been morbid visioning mm-hmm. out his ass out his ass <laughs> yeah um and of course they are like making a million moves a mile a minute and, and going upward only so they're Pretty busy with that. Of course. Shrucking. Exactly. And they're doing great stuff. But uh, Evan, of course, always like has I was afraid at heart too, the same as all of us. But uh, and Darby's like out in LA. Darby's been working pretty tough on some I was afraid stuff too, in the sense of like trying to get it to come back. And Pat's just ready to do whatever we're ready to do at that time. So (laughs) you know Pat's just just like just tell me when and where and I'll be there and we'll do we'll bang out a couple tracks. But um yeah. It's kinda funny how it all comes flooding back instantly. Yeah, it's it's one of those things that we're all like mindful of wanting to get back mm-hmm. in the saddle, but um, it happens when it's supposed to. Yeah, it definitely just takes like right place, right time. Yep. Um, but it's it'll happen here before too long, yeah. which is one of those things that we have to put the pieces in place properly to make it happen. We know nothing like the modern day, man. You yeah. can all practice from your fucking bedroom now. Yeah, they'd probably tell you that it's my fault that it's yeah. in stagnant right he now. He doesn't because, own a computer, <laughs> man. Because, what the fuck? <laughs> because of just like doing the new band now and everything. I know Darby's <laughs> been hitting me up trying to get some tracks passed back and forth. But it'll happen. It's, it's gonna happen. Yeah, just do it over Zoom, man. Fuck it. Do it yeah, over. Yeah, we'll schedule Zoom. some time on our Google calendars. Yeah, and we'll man. Go ahead and throw, throw fifteen. Toss a link in that hoe. Get a fucking thing. <laughs> You're good, man. We were just talking about that too. It's so it's so fresh. All these new ideas that are coming around. But like something that's new to all of us is everyone has a fucking space now. Yeah. Everyone in the world, most they have a space where you can go and be and be on the internet and do infinite things. Yeah. And it's a good resource to have. It's just the testament of the, you know, internet's growing fucking ability, but at the same time, also yeah. having a space for bands to practice in is what I thought you meant originally. But like, that's, oh, no, just, that's that always I, the struggle too, though. In I don't know that like, that'll <laughs> ever get solved. That That's such a struggle. Luckily, uh, we've been lucky enough to have like a pretty consistent enough spot uh, for Zach Hunter so to tough, provide man. it to us. So that's good. So tough. Yeah, it is tough. But uh, have you, 
you, how have you been doing in that regard? I know that you moved after I talked it to you last time. Months to like, so I moved and we had, so I've had a practice space my whole musical career. And then yeah. when, I, when I moved out of that house, I'm like, oh, fuck. Was it COVIDing? Was it COVIDing <laughs> when, <Soon. laughs> when you moved? Well, it was 2019. Uh, no, I started, I started remodeling 2019. So it was 2020. We talked in that 2019. That literally was we... like right. Oh, shit. That was when I Because you hadn't moved yet. Yes. I was just about to. I was just about to start. I might have actually been doing construction then, like rebuilding the inside of it. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Because I remember your neighbor almost beat me up. (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh, (laughs) They come out with that look of, who is it? Who's that? (laughs) Yeah. No. So, yeah. So then we had this really cool spot for like three years, but, you know, for two of the years, like... Yeah. We'd still meet up and have practice once a week, but it was kind of like, well, okay, see ya. And then we did two live streams, which was fun. We did one at Tedford's and one at that Vino's. That does sound fun. Which was sick as fuck and fun uh, both times, actually. That's that's uh, one thing that I think that, that this place would desperately need because we have so many bands of different varieties right now, and you would probably be the one to make this happen truly with your camera gear of like, it don't have to be the quality of exactly, but like an audio tree type situation. It, it requires the space for it. it I know. Does. But like having that resource for bands, to like have you live one rich ass friend with a bonus room. Yeah. That's, that's all we it. need is a rich ass friend. Because <laughs> we have audio equipment. We have all the camera equipment. We, we do. Need to do it. Yeah. We just need a space. It's the equipment and the space. And then of course, it's like you have to be able to make that level of noise for a few hours, so yeah. it has to be a good space. Like yeah. in the, and it has to kind of probably honestly be kind of isolated a little bit because modern day, like people don't want that shit. Yeah, you can be doing what in my shit? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, you could do a studio like, thing, then, but I mean, somebody's got to pay for that time. That's yeah. the thing. Then it becomes a monetary issue, you or would, I don't see a huge way for you to make that money back on if that. You could. I guess. That's I guess is, really. Like, if we were pumping the, out the content and it was high quality, I don't give a shit if I'm making money off. But I'm saying like the studio or like the space. Yeah. It's not gonna be free. You'd That's have to have the, the bands pay for it, of course. Like bands Which would have to. Well, and that stinks. Yeah. yeah, that stinks. Because it's like it's realistic though. Really, That's not super worth it for the bands unless they want that content. But, unless you are like audio tree. But then you have to yeah. like then you have to have the numbers exactly. So it's like, like we're gonna pay numbers, to pe- seven like, people are gonna watch it. It's yeah. no yeah. to pay hey five six whatever he wants to fly out and shoot think, the show because you're gonna be put in front of his three hundred thousand. Yeah, I think. Also, you know what I mean? like, if you had a space, it, but it is a marketing tool in, yeah. in think, general to have like good quality audio and video in our, with what you've been working on. Right. I think in our levels, I think it'd be better if the venue just offered it as a service. You yeah. know how they used to offer like, I'll burn it to a disc. I'll, I'll burn the audio, the board audio From the to board. a CD. Yeah, I haven't heard that for a long like time. For like 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Like dude, fucking old po- 19 <laughs> ponytails. Remember CDR. Lee? <laughs> Remember Lee? Yeah. Like, like it, last you know. I I did I played a fucking venue yeah. in Nashville that was they did that shit in 2009 they streamed to the internet they oh. were so ahead of their time and it was just a fucking camera in the ceiling it was a do you remember those Sony DVD cam boys or whatever the fuck oh, yeah. they were uh, I feel like it was I've like got an inkling of something it was like in my one mind. of those smaller like work it was like the compact era of yeah. video cameras the hit clips of video and cameras. it was just like <laughs> dude it was like yeah baby <laughs> frame rate was trash the whole fucking system but dude we had more people tune into that than were at the fucking show yeah <laughs> i mean like from my own perspective could, i wouldn't mind paying for something like that because it's like same that? as recording like, okay yeah. say the show is 15 bucks but to watch it at home is five bucks yeah and because there's so many people with kids and shit, dude, I'm, the number one excuse I had get for like in my age range is like, well, you know, the kids, a babysitter's 200 bucks, but if they could pay $5 or $10 to watch it at home, yeah, I think they would. And I th- think more people would than we would think it, they would. There, there are definitely a crowd of people that would probably be okay with that. But um, I'm talking about strictly from the sense of like a band paying to have it performed, like mm. a band paying to like yeah. get it done for them. It's like the same. Sen- yeah. It's the same as sense content. as recording like in a studio. I mean, just a new version of different that. people yeah. appreciate uh-huh. different areas of media, like different oh, mediums yeah. of media uh-huh. or whatever. What's it's all about video like, now, man. Whole, basically that, like an audio tree live session yeah. for Go For Gold. Yeah. Uh, during COVID. 
we did like a whole like interview section with them and then like yep. live. Yeah. And then what came out as like part of the album release. It's something yeah. that like is probably more aimed for people who are not living here. You know, it's aimed for people oh, that dude our the main purpose of that, that was would our be intended biggest, for it. But the biggest holy shit was the amount of people who didn't live here that bought tickets to the live streams. So yeah. It was like, oh fuck, this is a way to like I mean, it's the whole world at that point. If yeah. they have internet and twenty dollars, they can have your show. Yeah, it's yeah. If you're sitting out of state and you love that band the way you do, because I know they have a big market too. So it's like one of those senses. Oh of, yeah, we yeah, had people would do that for dude, sure. We had Germany, Brazil, England. They sold, like I think it was what close to eighty tickets. Yeah, and a lot of those merch bundles. That's how merch do bundles it. are another huge fucking. Like, hey, that's crazy. Is, you know, it's your coupon bucks, code. You get shirt and you get <laughs> but isn't show. that like? It's kind of weird how it just kind of died off. Like the live stream, and they were doing well. Like every band that did one did great. Like the live stream did amazing. The numbers were great. Everything was there. Yeah. The pre sales were good. Uh, like, so, and I got multiple pictures. Another thing you don't think about is like, yeah, somebody bought one ticket, but I, w- I got a handful of people just did like the living room shot, and their living room's full of people. Yeah. You know, their whole family's sitting out watching it because we ain't doing shit. Yeah, just like <laughs> there to see it. I mean, you probably could speak it's to like it more, Kurt. Of hundreds like, and hundreds of people watching. The sustainability of it, though, yeah. just like yeah. setting up everything necessary. and just You need like, it to live is the problem. Yeah. It needs to exist like this. It yeah. needs to be a set that or a venue have. that's just, it's always on. You yeah. click a yeah. fucking light switch and go. And roll. And you do a test, the internet ping, and be like, all right, we're good. You know? And that probably is the missing piece as to why, like, an audio tree thing, like, couldn't happen, yeah. like, regularly like, enough. is like having constantly. to set it up all the time and break it oh, yeah. down yeah. all yeah. the time. Now, you could start small, like, acoustically. Yeah. I mean, because you can do that from a bathroom and an iPhone. Like, <laughs> yeah. you don't need much. Windows Movie Maker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can put together some on MS Paint later. We're booting. Still booting. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes. Yeah, we're booting. <laughs> Boot that, stars. <laughs> the labyrinth screensaver. But I got the labyrinth screensaver. It's not going off. The, the fucking pipes. Yeah, this that's one? yeah, that's more. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> I'm just getting high and just staring at the computer screen. Oh, the good old days. Oh, man. Ninth grade. What <laughs> a trip. being eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> being eight. <laughs> oh, I miss it so. I think... I would like to start seeing blends of that kind of stuff, though. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, people would appreciate it and love it, and and it would be totally cool. It, I mean, <laughs> I it mean, is. So. And you don't want to, like, I, you want to deliver something better than just an iPhone on a fucking tripod because the sound's yeah. going to be shit. So, like, what's the balance between I'm not hate five six, yeah. but I'm also not some guy with a tripod and an iPhone? Like, yeah, which, no disrespect to the iPhone movie making no, capabilities. Hey man, I listen, mean, I've seen the commercials. Listen. <laughs> Right. Listen, we it's, seen, we it's know insane Hollywood what movies. you can do with your pocket now. Yeah. But <laughs> when you're trying to like deliver a product and you're charging for it, that's when we're talking. And it's a bit yeah. different, yeah. you know, because you got a what, you know, fucking camera, a good one. What is it, Kurt? Thousand bucks for a good mid tier, oh, yeah. a yeah, basic for a basic you know, a thousand dollars. And that's lens, and yeah. we're not even talking lenses. That's the yeah. just the body of the fucking thing. A buddy of mine got one recently and that was upwards of like, I feel like it was towards two. Towards yeah. Two yeah. Oh yeah. Two. And then that's yeah. not even shaking a stick at what a camera can cost. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It was like 2,500 bucks. See, and, and that's just the, the a, a lens like, and a body. I still and get memory. I still get yeah. Like, drum sets and cameras. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> they'll bleed you dry. I was talking, I, my drums and they're not, High end drums. Yeah. I don't buy high end shit because I play like a gorilla and I'm going to smash them all. <laughs> I'm going to destroy these. <laughs> but even with that in mind, I did. I was doing like some quick math and I'm like, I'm at almost four grand. Yeah, sitting still. Ooh, what a tiny and that's egg for that like, is. it's like not shit, but it ain't great. Yeah, you know, it Jeez. ain't top end by any means. Maybe yeah. maybe like my crash and like my drum heads, but those are still like forty bucks. You know, yeah. like my kick drum heads like eighty bucks. I mean, in comparison, I just went in on a bunch of new guitar gear for like mainly because playing in a three piece now. The uh-huh. part of the thought process there was like running stereo and like getting the guitar uh-huh. rig really built up to yes, like flourish and sound like That's a mean motherfucker. That's what we're doing in Crows. Yeah, but we were, we ran the we got a dark glass bass rig to go in oh, line okay. with it. So it's the bass and the guitar. Are you going to split it stage? Or are you going to like stack? It, it all sits on one end. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're probably leaning more towards. But like 
just to, I guess, go through financially what I'm thinking of just as a ballpark range. Cause I got, I had an orange TH 100 to run like the tube sound that I've been running already, but I went and got one of those super crushes here yep. recently. One of those orange ones. So I have a solid state tube combination there. Yep. And then, um, I had an orange 412, but then I got like some cream back speakers to put in my 212. So six speakers and so two heads running off of it. So, and it sounded pretty good so far and just getting it finally tuned and all You're that like, kind of shit. It sounded pretty good. It probably sounds like pure butter. <laughs> <laughs> like it sounded pretty good it so sounds far. Okay. And Just then fucking three grand worth of shit. <laughs> See, that's what I'm getting to is like, I don't even think it was that hard. Oh, and I did get a Jaguar too. I'd, I'd always, uh, I wanted a new guitar was for it a about minute. A grand? What's a Jaguar? It was, it, well, I got it used and it okay. was, it was a grand. Yes. Okay, there you go. But I did have to put a bridge on it. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. so getting used, of course, it immediately yeah. slapped me in the mouth and was just like, you dummy. Well, you're going to reach back towards to 400, retail. dude. Exactly. And it would be pristine. Uh-huh. But no. Uh, and the the concern of shipping a guitar and receiving it was unparalleled in anything I'd ever bought online before. Oh, it's just this big piece of wood and yep. shit like that that's just put together in all kinds of different places. Oh, man. Yeah. Put yep. that in the truck and slide it around. Just whatever, dude. Yeah. Throw some fucking shit on top of it. Some weights, probably. I'm thinking probably in total that reached towards 25. Yeah. Yeah. And that's for like an insane guitar rig. Yeah. You know, um, to like, add to what I already had. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, yeah. yeah. So you're like, and just like, just starting drumming is such a motherfucker. Yeah. It really is. That's why I get like the whole like $300 electronic kit makes sense because it's enough to get started. Yeah. But. But you, you got to, you know, risk it for the shit you love. <laughs> it's great, dude. I started out with a fucking, somebody gave it to me. Yeah. I mean, the symbols were tin. Yeah. <laughs> they're all, they all China symbols. It was CB. And I think at that time, CB was a Walmart brand. It was like, because they've been passed around all like fucking. CB? CB. For symbol. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's like just symbol brand. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> the, the simple the symbol, symbol brand. in you. Yeah, yeah. The simple symbol. But it like, and my buddy like used contact paper and made lightning bolts all over it and shit. And we thought it was the coolest fucking thing in the world. It was just like the That's biggest, no, the biggest piece of shit it tracks. We had a Wuhan China and we would just beat the piss out of this. I mean, we never changed the heads. I remember the day we changed the heads on the snare drum. And as you were loosening it, the snare drum head was actually going inward. A, a, a <laughs> mushroom cloud of just smoke comes out from inside it. Down this fucking, like we have beat it so much. <laughs> Oh, dude, those are the days. Likewise, on my the first instrument I ever got was a Vester bass for twenty dollars. There you go. Yeah, but like, have you ever heard of a Vester bass? I have not. No one has. No, of course they haven't. <laughs> but me, because you got the only one. <laughs> yeah, the only one in existence. <laughs> that shit came straight from China somewhere on a thing, and no one knew what it was. Well, mine went, came from my buddy Jim, <laughs> <laughs> but where he got it from <laughs> yeah. could have very well been Indonesia, that. <laughs> something like that. One of those like it's made of balsa wood. You're it's like a fucking Etsy it's... bass <laughs> before that existed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grandpa's closet. <laughs> Somebody put it together in their basement and sell That's them for twenty a pop. Exactly yeah. what it was. Cost they got ten to kits. make. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my first guitar was a kit guitar. I bought it for fucking. I think it was like thirty bucks off a of dude, and it yeah. was the SG ripoff. You remember when Ibanez had their version of the SG? Um, it was more like that. I feel like I've seen it before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you did. I'll do some homework later for sure. <laughs> I'll dig it out. Uh, old Wes Borland from Limp Biscuit made him popular. Yeah, well, that's yeah. how. That's why he went so crazy. <laughs> the it, it, it got into his soul. <laughs> Face paint all the time. I have to. <laughs> hey, it's fun. Have you seen him live? Limp Biscuit. Yeah. Not it's a no, fucking. I have it. I feel like hoot. I probably wouldn't make it out of there if I did. You, you would. It's fun, dude. <laughs> I feel like it's probably some insanity that goes hey, down in a limb biscuit. Uh, well, you have to. I mean, it's I mean, legally contractually big obligated. Ass shows. Just don't be near the front bit. You know, you'll yeah. be fine. They yeah. play. Just don't be there for Win- Woodstock '99. <laughs> you should be okay. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> there's something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Whatever. Yes, limp. He said it. <laughs> yes, limp. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mr. Biscuit. It's the the energy of Yes Chef. Uh, uh, Yes, Limp. Yes, Limp. (laughs) Tear down a tower. Did we do good? No, light it on fire now. Okay. I hope we were done. Is mayonnaise an instrument? I was seven. I wasn't able to go to that. But if I could go back, I would. seven. I'd probably, you know, pitch it to my parents at least. I was probably. If I knew what I knew now. Oh shit! Yeah, well, yeah. You had an opportunity to go. I should have. I did. I mean, I could have went, and my dad definitely would have been like, "All right, just be careful." Yeah. 
At some point it was. Yeah, the last little bit there was free for sure. <laughs> yeah, back when it had like the plethora of just crazy acts on a show, which I, I guess they just have those nowadays still. There was that one that got canceled here recently. Fire uh, Festival? No, not, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's cra- Speaking of crazy, <laughs> Psycho, I think, was what it was. Right? Psycho Fest? I don't know. I had like Deftones and System of a Down build at the top of it and such like that. Yeah, well, I, you oh, can I look it up, but it's not there that's anymore. Crazy. Oh, really? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> it was crazy when you see like, because uh, there's this band, you know Failure, that band Failure? Uh-uh. It's this 90s band that I really love, but they're like down on the bill, like down here in like small print. When are you see like, bands that you really love that are in small print, similar to the plea for Purging deal you were talking about yeah. earlier, it's just like you know it's a good ass fest. That's right. Yeah. When you're like, oh my God, they haven't been around for X amount of years. <laughs> yeah. da, 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 and you're like, Ugh. oh, that did just remind me of the Furnace Fest uh, poster. Hilarious that Hatebreed and Amberlin are right next to each right? other. Right. Yeah, I love it. I hope they play back to back. Was that day two? Day two's lineup, or That's is it day one. three? Right. That was Friday. That's Friday. Yeah. There's one of the ones because they did it. There's one where it's like the lineup from the top to like the bottom row. It's like this is fucking ludicrous. The the amount of bands that play just do, 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 in succession. Yeah, it's he Norma should June. be there. Ludacris should be involved. Ludacris should be there. Luda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I mean, as a headliner, that'd be like Saturday night headliner. Oh be shit. Pretty awesome. That's yeah. It. Hate breed. Amberlin. Luda. <laughs> I'd go. Oh God! There could be something to that. I wouldn't make it out of there. I talked about Limp Biscuit. <laughs> no, no that, I don't think anybody would. Yeah, <laughs> just pulling their ears. Oh, off. I, yes, I do think I will hit a motherfucker. Like in prison. He literally ripped the guy's ears off during the ludicrous set. I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> And there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> He's just pulling ears. He's just walking by motherfuckers. Give me that. What do you think would be more violent to be in there? A biscuit pit or a DMX pit? Ooh. DMX. I mean, now, I now though. Are we at Woodstock 99? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, Woodstock 99, he was there. Was he? He, he, he has the record for the biggest concert in rap history. It's DMX. At Woodstock 99, DMX? Yes. I need to watch 200, that. 200,000 people. So, he has yeah, the, Woodstock 99, estimated 200,000 so, people total. So, on Saturday alone, it was 250,000. He had 250,000, and he so he has the record for the biggest rap concert in history, not to mention the broadcast. Yeah. You're talking millions of people, Jesus. At, if you include the broadcast, which, you know, that's Live Aid. Yeah. They did a billion people. They broadcasted it to a billion people from yeah. Wembley or wherever real, it was. A real beautiful day for the Rough Rider crew. <laughs> I mean, you <laughs> to, know. To have those kind of numbers churning but up. But I'd say, dude, a hip-hop concert now is like an old, it's like a metal concert. They have full yeah. on pits, just violent, just going crazy. crazy shit. I wish I could. We could have seen DMX go up and hit a Limp Biscuit track. Could you though. imagine? Just like break stuff with oh DMX on. on hey, hey, hey. He just yeah, comes just out barking, barking. Oh, just God. fucking ripping. I would heads. have to bark back, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, barking. all the whole crowd. You got a crowd of people yeah. barking back at you. <laughs> Two hundred thousand people barking at you. Oh God! If they can hear it, states away. <laughs> it's like, is the pound out? <laughs> what is this? Oh, uh, yeah, I think the storm's coming. <laughs> and then they start sliding and shit. <laughs> Dude, you could do it. And honestly, if we went back then, Olympus get pits clearly worse because they ended an entire fucking three day weekend yeah. festival. The people in the Limp Biscuit pit are probably worse. <laughs> but now, I think if you had the same thing, I think DMX pit would probably actually be like scarier. Be like, holy fuck. Like, yeah. get me out of here. Which, you know, RIP. But. <laughs> Yeah, but, that's true. <laughs> Shit. I forgot which, you died. We can't have any DMX pits anymore, but, you know. Finished, but DMX uh, one of the most iconic Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's true. Damn, did he live stream it? <laughs> <laughs> did he I miss him? Did I miss no, it? They were. In a fucking monster truck. Yeah. You got $300 tickets to they live stream doing, DMX's funeral. They were doing shit in the streets with the ATVs and shit. Oh, it was wild, riders, man. Yeah, yeah, the Rough yeah, Riders. Yeah. Right. Damn. It was amazing, honestly. I'll have to look for some what footy. A, it's a hell of a that. way to go out. Insane. You got to get more in touch with the. With I need what's my going. You need more DMX funeral. I need my finger life, on man. the pulse of what's yeah, cool dude. again. <laughs> I've been living under a rock. I don't even know what happened Over at DMX's funeral. A fucking GameCube and shit. <laughs> I know. I'm like, they have Super it's Smash Brothers games again, man. They, they still have these. <laughs> and I get fourth place. I lose all of them. I will say, I don't remember. I have that game, and I haven't upgraded. Whatever Trey had, that was like that new shit. That was man. the new new. Yeah, he trades on that new new, and look how badass dude, he was killing everyone. Uh, yeah, he was like, "I'm gonna bring this game." To and then the he function, did Mario Kart going to first every time. It's like, dude, you're beating everyone's ass. You're just okay. Flex on us, Trey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Can go ahead and bring harder. your game. <laughs> He's like, "Look at my cool flip phone." <laughs> I've got a cool phone too. Yeah, as yeah. I get fourth place. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's why I don't play games anymore. Okay, or I don't play a lot of them. I don't either. No, because I used to do this dumb shit where I just put them on the hardest difficulty and never beat them, and just put them down and be like, oh, I guess I, I don't want to do that I'm anymore. Good. I watch my cousin. I'm not good do at this. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at this anymore. And you don't want to put it on easy because then it's too easy. Yeah, I'm not a weakling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I'll play Mario, and now they have like easy, normal, expert, super expert, right? And I'll do easy, and I'm like, well, I can't do this. This is for children. Yeah. That you just super run expert. to the goal. <laughs> I got to be a super expert. No, well, <laughs> hold on. So I tested the water, and I was like, normal. I was like, all right, cool. I can do like 10 of these levels before I run out of lives, right? <laughs> expert, I did three. I got three in a row, and I was like, yeah. wow, unbelievable. And so I was like, let me try my hand at super expert. I've never beat one. <laughs> But I have not turned it off. <laughs> and I'll watch a guy, he'll fucking sit there and do 50 in a row. And you're like, yeah, I'm, I, uh, it's not for me. They're professionally trained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like Trey. <laughs> Years and years of their life just spent. Clicking away. See, I was doing this. I was, I was playing instruments. Yeah. I still suck at that, too. Fuck, man. Yeah, I think we're just doing something wrong. Maybe I just suck. <laughs> it's a hard realization. I can't play games. I can't play instruments. <laughs> What happened to me? <laughs> like, I can play five instruments, mostly. Five? You know. Yeah. Guitar, drums, bass. Yeah. Keyboard. Vo- vocal. Vocal. <laughs> is that that, that is oh. an instrument, a vocal instrument. Brother, screaming is a fucking instrument. Yeah, and some of the aggressive, more aggressive singing that I'm doing for Stressor, it definitely put me in the lane of like, oh, I, I get it now. It took um, me, it took, I'm not, I'm not kidding, it took me two years to figure out how to scream an entire show without losing my voice. Yeah. Like to work out, like the if I do it like this, if I breathe here, da 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 da, and I start doing vocal exercises. All that diaphragm shit everybody always Bro, talks about. Before a show, I'm doing a lot more than the fucking guitar player, which I am the guitar player too. But yeah. <laughs> the the fucking bassist or the drummer, they're just standing there drinking beers, and I'm like, yeah, I can't eat pizza, I can't fucking yeah. eat, like don't eat cheese. Yeah. Nothing with cheese on because <laughs> the enzymes cheese. coat your throat and it fucks your vocals I get up. Get my notepad out. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. oh, I know a lot, dude. Hot yeah. liquids only. You can't do anything with ice, especially on stage. You're going to yeah. blow your fucking voice well, out. Well, am I hiatus, Screaming now. Yeah, in my hiatus from drinking, it definitely, you can <coughs> tell that like drinking before you do any kind of vocal stuff definitely takes you a little bit out of it, too. It coats your throat with whatever it your throat, negative the, shit. Little yeasty bubbles or whatever. Yeah, the yeah. yeasty bubbles the are yeasty really bub- taking my singing ability yeasty away. Yeasty bubbles got me, guys. I say that on mic after I sing a song bad. I'm sorry, y'all. The yeasty bubbles. <laughs> in my throat <laughs> it's a little pitchy tonight yeah, um just get over it anyway this next song <laughs> oh dude wait till you play live and you get the wrong note you're just gonna be like yeah because that shit hits your ear trumps I like, actually, am i doing okay <laughs> am i doing okay <laughs> i've never been in my own head more than playing a fucking set where i'm doing vocals yeah. oh my god well, drumming soon it's to be for me because <laughs> drumming i just got to go as loud as i can yep just bang it out don't gotta be perfect you just do it everyone's like hey, he's drumming it's all right he's you know he missed a little bit right Whew. standing in front of the people though holy shit it's different <laughs> cool. is this be your first time being uh, a front man yeah yeah <sighs> yeah you're like oh you're gonna die it's up so there. <laughs> different dude it's so different i didn't really because now i've done all the positions in a band yeah, you know, I've been a bassist in a band. I've been a drummer in a band. Like the standard shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, regular the regular five. You know, been yeah. a lead guitar player, been a rhythm guitar. But the player. combo, <clears throat> but doing just being a front person. Oh man, I can tell. I can like kind of read into the energy that that requires. Some because you got to talk. You got to instead have, of like. Well, you you've got that. I feel like it won't be a big deal. I think but... banter is going to be your real strong point. You'll be like, y'all remember my graph, Steve, and everyone's going to die laughing. Like, yeah, the hands go. You're going to use it like a stand-up comedy set in between. Lighters songs. out for Minecraft, Steve. All right, Pete. Yeah, he got fourth place on the Smash match. Wait, what? What'd you say? Oh my fucking god. What'd you say? I said, speaking of that, what are we doing with the comedy show? Oh, well, we'll get one going. Uh, it's right now. <laughs> We're doing it right Dude, now. Dino's night where you get... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, and you just do. I mean, yeah. you're winning. I, I, you have a direct line to my funny bone, man. You kill me. I gave it a shot one time. I did try stand up one night, like no, a you few need months to. ago. You and Dylan Bradley. Well, it's it did not go the greatest. I don't care. But it was a themed night. It was like a like if you don't make us laugh in a minute. Oh, we're see, thumb downing work. you. Yeah, and you're no, that's out of here. like that's like kill Tony shit. Yeah, I don't even know what that is, but that sounds aggressive. <laughs> it's sounds... Tony Hinchcliffe. He's like a stand up comedian. Oh yeah, I do, do know Tony every week. Yeah. They do it with like world famous comedians, like David Tell will be in the fucking room, and then they're like, "You have one minute to make us 
not hate you. And yeah. then they just rip you to shreds. Yeah, it, it was my first time. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> my notepad, I'm like, what? what well, imagine your this? first time being in front of some of the world's best comedians. Yeah. You know, it's like, I don't want to do that. And but that's what I, it. we should do that. Like, basically you get... Whoever thinks they can be funny, which it's going to be a lot of front people because you have to have the narcissism level in you to be like, I want to talk this. I yeah. want to say this to you because there's a hint in there. Right. And then we all just go to Vino's, throw it, like do a thing, have a show, yeah. pizza, beer. Everyone sits down and we all just try our best at banter. Yeah, Just get up there and just try and get a cackle. Yeah. Well, what I quickly found out is doing that in like the actual stand up comedy scene, you have to have a little touch of vulgarity and grit to you that uh is not like that is not club, my but yeah not my people, yeah. first like jump to thing yeah, is to be like ass and, yeah. and shit and, I, and all this stuff and i'm just See, like that is me yeah and my like, first joke's gonna okay. be like how i want to poop on the stage like because i'm nervous <laughs> you'd probably get a couple a couple yeah. laughs out of that you said diarrhea <laughs> people love shitting on the stage <laughs> poop poop and dick jokes man i made about a minute and a half <laughs> on my on my viking That's, night it's harder uh, than you think? ordeal it was tough Dude, a minute is an eternity on a stage yeah. talking to people Have, <laughs> haven't touched the stuff since <laughs> I got one chuckle on our entire tour and it was in Chicago. And it, the line I gave was we had to buy shoes just to get here, which is a pretty common expression. <laughs> yeah. And th- you hear like a, yeah, no, that was, that's the one that got all 10 people chuckling. <laughs> yeah. You like Sh- get up. <laughs> yeah. No, we're done. I, I had, I loved it so much. I slammed the microphone stand on the ground. I was like, yes. And then we went into the song. <laughs> You turn around a tear was, in your eye. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> you go, let's roll, boys. I make Chicago laugh. We're done here. The guy from Taking Back Sundays upstairs fucking getting kicked out, and we're fucking down here in this basement bombing. A, a plethora of cool shit happening that It was night, insane. It like. That night was insane. And then it snowed unbelievable. It was crazy. They were playing upstairs? He was. Oh. Uh, he, he was playing upstairs. Uh, they made him stop. <laughs> what for? He was pissed drunk, dude. He got in a fight with one of the audience members. <laughs> oh, God. How far the mighty have fallen. Yeah, well, he was one of the ones that quit, and so I guess he's just, you know, relegated to playing emo nights. The singer? No, no. Fuck no. No, no. The guitarist. The big guy. Oh. Of Taking Back Not Sunday. Not Fred. The, the guy who lasted the longest. This makes a lot, more, sen- this yeah, makes yeah. A lot more sense now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like the singer of Taking Back Sunday is doing a little gig upstairs. <laughs> and he gets kicked out. Be insane. I don't know. drunk I'm, and sucking. Dude, I would still be posting on Instagram and be like, remember that time we played with fucking Adam? Yeah. And he got kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> Lazaro, Lazara. I don't know how to say his last name. It's a weird I one. I couldn't even uh, venture a guess. Yeah, well, that makes more sense that it was one of the... Comedy Night's a good one. We should do that. Yeah, Comedy Night and Audio Tree recording session right after. (laughs) Which bang them all out and say... I had an idea to do one, like... I I think if you could... Well, you could, for sure. Well, there are a couple nights... Like, I know that, um, like, Tedford, like, dips his feet in the water of doing some, like, stand-up stuff, like, in some of the resources that he has, like, a bar and everything. Um, And then I know that, you know, where I tried it at was um, The Joint, I think is what it's called. I've heard that. I haven't been there yet. Like, down by Four Quarter Mm -hmm. that's down there. They have it, like, every... They have stand-up night every Tuesday, I think. That's... And there's a group of guys that do that. They have, like, a circuit that they do, and they run around, and they're... Of course, there's, like... The Looney Bin, which is like our own yeah. one prominent club. I feel like you have to work your way up to doing you, that. You it seems at. like you yeah. got to get an in, be a door yeah. guy or some shit. This level of funny compared to this. <laughs> level of I mean, they have open mic night. Shit. It's like Tuesdays, and oh. it's, you well. know, you get fucking, you know, a minute literally or two two minutes. Yeah, and you're gonna bomb, and you're gonna fail, and you're gonna suck, and you, you have, you to, just hope have that, to keep doing it. <laughs> you have to hope that everybody's had enough of those fishbowl ass drinks that they serve in there to where you're gonna <laughs> sound a little funnier than what you originally do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much of y'all had to drink tonight? First of all, I just, I just wish <laughs> that to drink minimum. Yeah. Before the show minimum. starts. I will say, man, like they, <laughs> That's the there are some things music venues could learn from comedy venues. They have a way about them where it's like, they're going to make money. Yeah. Period. Well, we played at, four, at Whitewater a couple nights, a couple nights. It was like maybe a weekend or two ago uh, with house tree house and that new or katsu band. Have you heard of them? Yeah, they were awesome that night, which, like, every time I've seen them, they've been great. But Katsu? Katsu is a newer band. They play maybe two or three shows. Okay. Um, they're very funk jazz uh, stuff. There's some younger guys in that band, best I know, too. I love it. Uh, they, were, they were ripping, though. They were very good. But uh, that was a show that sold out at Whitewater, which happens more frequently now than it seems oh, yeah. to have happened in the past, to my knowledge, anyway. Um, and that just leads back to, like, you can make some good money playing the local shows and everything, like, and and with can. everybody that works together. Like, as a band, <laughs> you can. Maybe not individually, but, like, you're band can make good money playing yes, just that, that's what town. i mean yeah. and when it comes to like you putting money back Put into merch, church and recordings right. and stuff like that like that works for me 
to like the and least money got, you can pull out of your pocket to have to do shit like that is uh, a win for a band in my uh, eyes. Dude, we just did. We were like, oh, we got to do this thing, and then like, and Cody was like, oh, we, we have money, and ever all of us were like, oh. Oh shit! Yeah, that's you have awesome. A band fun? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's like back in the day. It's like you'd have to tour to do some shit like that, or like come back with oh, money dude. consistently. And yeah. even then, you'd be putting it into gas, and like just trying to make sure that you at least broke even getting home. I pray to God you're breaking even. Yeah, but then you know, just, I was afraid I had a few tours where we brought back some money in the sense of oh, to apply a, towards dude, other that's things. It. And, I mean, you're and that's when you like I did before for me. That's when you come I mean, back. You're home living the dream, shouting, dude. Yeah, <laughs> shouting and celebrating and shit. Yeah. Uh, that has to be the most like uh, you can take up or whatever, but that's like the eighth percent of the one percenters. Right. We're in the one percent of musicians. We've done things that most people will be like, "Man, fuck! I just wish I could ever just do that." Like go out because most hang out people, with your friends and play. To be everything. honest, you yeah. know, most people they get their dream crushed just by life. Like yeah. just life happens and they don't have the resources and it just they got a day job and to pull four or five people in a room and get in one time like to like together. enough times to yes. have a set alone that um, or recordings like yes. properly prepared for alone is just a feat in itself. Like you're like already in now. the top one percent yeah. just doing that feat. Getting yeah. a show and then let alone a tour that you made money. Mm-hmm. Fucking, you're up there, dude. That's why I wanted a three-piece. The next step, you are Limp Biscuit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and you're Limp Biscuit rocking the set. There you go. Dress as old men. Actually, you just are old men. I've got face paint like West Borland. <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> and people hate me. Giant black eye contacts. <laughs> just looking around like a total freak, <coughs> hey, which man. is in my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted a three piece though, because so much less to like keep up with in the sense of people coming together. Suburban. Yeah, you can put a practice <laughs> together at nine thirty at night That's and right. like come together. Which you know, depending on who you're with and your four or five person bands, you can do that stuff still too, as long as people are off work and it's ready all and about willing. proximity at that point. Yeah, and then uh, but having a three piece like it's brought me a little bit back towards that lane of like, oh well, we can just like get together real quick for an hour tonight and like at nine thirty and like jam it out real quick, like a couple nights a week if we wanted to. Oh yes, sir. It's because you know you may. <laughs> Losing an hour of sleep over it, <laughs> but I mean, like in the sense of I'd you know, rather you're getting shit yeah, done exactly, yeah. And a three piece, I'm in two three pieces right now, and it's yeah. just like it's just it's comfortable, infinitely easier, yeah, to manage. Especially if you can make sure that you just know that your tone and everything that when you're playing live is going to be what you want it to be, yep. and like yeah, sure you, you got to invest in some shit. Focus on, yeah. you don't have as much to carry around. You don't have well, as many, no, that's the opposite. You don't, <laughs> I have so much more shit many, to carry around. Now. You don't have as many as like opinions to like. It's like. Three, it's like okay, one person opposes. Well, what's the what's the thing? With like two and three, it just makes it so much harder. I landed right in the middle of that though, because with doing the three piece, I have so much more shit to carry with like the stereo the stuff. I'm just like, no, I've, I've fucked myself on that. And a PA, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, done the opposite of what I was supposed to do on that. I one. always bring at least a speaker. Like if I'm going way out of the way, I'm bringing yeah. a speaker and a PA head minimum. Which thankfully we don't have venues around that like require that for the most part. I know Pizza D, you got to bring your own stuff there to play there it seems like but jackson has run right. sound for the most part of shows that happen there and he brings his stuff <clears> there we so. went to a show one time and it was way out in the middle of nowhere and we get there and they're just like oh we thought y'all would just have a pa system and we're like yeah what the fuck yeah so we just screamed into the void we just played with no pa <laughs> yeah i think i touched on this a little bit last time i was on here but there was this one show in <laughs> fort smith that i was afraid to play like on one of the first tours we ever did where they just did not have one until <laughs> like, like two until fuck? like the band we were touring with was already done they're oh. like oh we got the pa now uh-huh. and we just played without it because we were just didn't want to be rude we're in solidarity we be rude yeah, yeah. 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 we're playing and without we have too. vocals you didn't <laughs> <laughs> what are we some bricks Liam johnny did one at a fucking after party for the um, with that event they do every year for the well I guess not anymore because it's gone now, but that like event center that's in there what the fuck is it Loki Arts, where is that? <laughs> it's in Hot Springs. Oh, okay, so was yeah. that what is it? It's called Grateful Head Pizza. Oh, I've I've heard a lot of good things about that place, but it's, I have not been. Dude, it was sick. It was like one in the morning and the show was fucking packed. But when we got there, we have to set up on a stage about as big as this table, and. We're like, man, well, okay, well, so like, where's the PA system? We're trying to figure all this out. And he's like, oh, it's up there, dude. It's two JBL bookshelf speakers. Oh. Like you would have for like your surround sound at your house. He's like, that's what we use all the time. I'm like, acoustic acts though, right? It's not going to work for me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, You're, I'll blow this up and you'll never hear it and I'll still blow it up. And you'll be mad at me. Uh-huh. And then so some guy was actually in there and he was like, hey, man, I got one for you. And shout out to this poor bastard because he brought one and it was like two twelves, very standard practice PA, good enough. Yeah, and uh, we blew that up too. <laughs> <laughs> A happy ending I, to I the feel story. Real bad about it, actually, <laughs> it's like 
I mean, it was older, but I, you know, it's just screaming the whole time and it's loud as fuck. Cause that, have yeah. you been down there? It's like a little basement. It used to be Grateful called the Exchange. Head. For Grateful Head? No, I haven't even yeah. been there. So I, I want to eat there. I've heard the pizza's great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Which cool name, cool theme. Dude, so. everyone was nice as fuck. We were having a great time. It was just weird to show up to a show. <laughs> I like it, hot springs just oh, in the yeah. sense of like just being a place that's like comfy. It's a nice little getaway spot if you want to like go out and have like it's a like little... having a vacation in your own exactly. It's home like state. an hour away. Yeah. Uh, more places to play there would be great. Like more places for consistency, consistency Consistent playing, there. playing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know that Maxine's does their thing, but like it's so spotty now though. Yeah, and I, really I would rather there be it. more options than but just also, one place. As cool as Maxine is, like playing there is a headache. Yeah, because like they don't have anywhere for the gear to live. Mm -hmm. It's you're walking between staff and the bar, and it's just like yeah. awkward, and you don't want to be in their way. It, it takes so much effort to like open up a location and like have a it's consistency so hard, for doing shows, it, you, acting like I've ever done it. But I'm well, just no, that, you're not wrong. Like, yeah, I could only like, imagine. You need someone with a space that's just like, oh, oh, that's all you need here. Or a restaurant. Somebody who's opening a restaurant can open yeah. a venue too. Those are the ones that last the longest. Man, that uh, Zaza and Conway used to do shows out there. I don't mm -hmm. know if you ever went to anything out there when they were doing that. But, uh, I did it. I, they I have, should have. They had drink deals on like Monday through Wednesday or whatever. They had $3 yeah. Long Islands. I can't tell well, you how now uh, wacky got, those nights got. Now they've got the Moon Room or what? what is it called? Moon Records? Full Moon. Full Moon, Full moon, Full moon Records. Moon Records, yeah. Pet played there, um, which two experiences I've had there so far. Uh, Pet played there a couple weeks ago uh, with Sonic Fuzz and Makeshift Tape Deck. An out of town band. That's uh, I had great. To, I, had to slow down. I had to slow down for it. Say it five times fast. <laughs> makeshift, <later>. makeshift <laughs> tape deck. You were looking at your phone, Kurt. Tape deck. Makeshift <laughs> tape deck. That's why. Make, makeshift, makeshift tape deck. Makeshift tape. Nope. Nope. I can't do it. Can't do it. That's a good band name, though. <laughs> makeshift tape deck. <laughs> You have they to have, be sure to sound out all the syllables and all the different things in there. Make shits take. Ah. Oh, a missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I'll be sure to throw that their way. <laughs> it's like, hey, me and a couple of my friends were thoughts. throwing around different names for your band. They were sick, though. And yeah, uh, Sonic Fuzz, they are based, I'm pretty sure they're based in Conway. Okay. And uh, they're cool, too. They had some, like, really cool, um, I was about to say indie, like that means anything. Uh, like, just some, like, alt-rock kind of stuff yeah. and, like, slowed down and kind of... Just special in its own way kind of stuff. So uh, playing there was cool, though. They definitely have a nice space in there. It sounds good in there. Yeah. Uh, but speaking more to the show that uh, Morbid Visions, Zashed, and all of them played out there. Did you go to that? I no, but I saw footage. If you went, like, if you didn't have a way to get in and went there, you probably wouldn't have been able to because they were turning people away at the damn door. That's amazing. Kurt, you were there that night. You can speak to it, too. But like just in the sense of like yeah. they were, had like 30 people outside. That they're like, um, we, we don't know if we can let you in. That's and right. so it's, I don't know if Evan. Becoming dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's like we are breaking fire codes. <laughs> I mean, you know, that used to be kind of just, eh, fuck it. I mean, like, once everybody got in there, because they did get everybody in there, yeah, and it yeah. worked out okay yeah. and just fine. But um, it was we one of those things that, like, you saw 100% right there and then what the potential of that place had to be uh, for, like, shows that really right. stack it out and are, like... 100% well, you know, that people fire, want to go to. Fire that show's crazy. You used to be able to pack more people in and then accidents happen and then they raise what the fire code yeah. is. And fire codes are stupid. They're not stupid, <laughs> but, you know, they used to pack a lot more people in places with, you know, things happen. Yeah. it With with thir a third of the amount of people, yeah, things you can still happen, rules. man. It if, was never... If you want a place to still exist, <laughs> then you have to be you as mindful of caught. stuff like that as possible. That's the only thing. You just can't get caught. Right. And like now that I think about it, no, they didn't break any fire codes. <laughs> no. No. They're fine. <laughs> but in the sense of like seeing what that place can be when there are people yeah. that are just like in there having a great time and when the bands Dude, are Dude, if people come, any place the way can be that. magical. Yeah. If the people show up to it, it's magical. It would be a fucking field that you do shows. What's that fucking... There's a venue in uh, somewhere and it's a fucking shed. And Where? it's like they've turned it into a venue. I don't know, dude. It's in my phone. I've started following them on Facebook. They made Here? their own merch. Yeah, it's in Arkansas. It's in Jonesboro, I think. Oh, I guess I haven't really looked at uh, Jonesboro look it up when we're done, But okay. it's fucking cool as fuck, dude. And it's yeah. literally you play on the front porch of a shed. Yeah. And people are showing up. It's sick That's, as fuck. That sounds awesome. I mean, like, yeah, everybody likes a good thing to do, like a good, fun, like, music experience. And if they have a cool little niche location to do mm -hmm. that in, then that's awesome. Uh, I know they're in tiny towns from Jonesboro. Tiny Towns, Fleshbound. So I'm sure that them having kind of the more like nice following that they've got, that you need some good places. They might have even like opened up a couple of doors and places well, to play out there. They for... had a good spot, and then I think the good spot like stopped doing. I don't know. It was yeah, confusing. which using pets playing with them uh, at Full Moon on April 5th. I think I think it's April 5th. 
April 4th or 5th. Damn. Uh, well, it's online. <laughs> <laughs> the information is available. You can't even come in here with your facts straight, man. God. <laughs> you knew this last time. Last time I came in here, I was like, oh, we got a show on this day. Uh, what this day is is Dude. undetermined. Yeah. <laughs> the bands that are playing, they're great. I'm that fucking guy, too. It's 14th. April 14th. There, there was a four in it. I said four. You know, I, I reverted to the fourth after I mistakenly when said you're, When you're half right, you're half right, and that's close enough. I'm going to consider that a win. But if anyone's looking, you know, the internet exists. You exactly. Can just go. The internet is so much more smarter than me. Zilla, Tiny Towns, and Pet. Pretty that's cool. That's a fucking show, dude. Pretty cool show, which, yeah, I like... I I got to go to that one. Yeah, I guess you do, too. I'll look for you. <laughs> I just saw Zilla for the first time, and they were fucking fantastic. Those are some good friends, and they are insane when they play they are. I, I call whenever someone's about to see him for the first time. Uh, this is a little bit regular, standard boy of me, but like I call them the Foo Fighters of Little Rock, just because hey. they like they're a party. Yep. They jam and they have a great time, and it's like I have a great time watching them too. I, the same as everybody, it seems like had so, a blast watching them. Yeah, which like Eric is plays in Zilla, who also plays in Pet, which yeah. he's he's one of the best musicians in town. I've said this before, but just like being able to be the Swiss Army knife of like forming into whatever the band needs and such. And then uh, all the rest of those dudes in that band, Sam, Tanner, and uh, T- Toby, they're all just fucking good at what they do. Yeah, so They're very talented. Yeah, Sam is just a badass guitar player, too, in the sense of like being able to shred and everything. Mm-hmm. And like for both of them to vocally provide and everything, Tanner and him, it's, it's good shit. So props to them. <laughs> it leads me to the question what other local acts around nowadays are like on your radar I know Zash they're doing great shit I know we've talked I, about I them a minute I when I watched them that one was just mind blowing I don't yeah you know, people will hit you up or whatever, blah, 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 and do this. Like, it's so hard to keep up now. Yeah, there's a lot. Before, there's a lot it was like, coming. like well, even, dude, even when this podcast started, it was very easy to just be like, oh, well, clearly this person, because there's not a lot to choose from. And now, yeah. I, dude, my f- fucking phone just never stops and vibrating. Like, and it's yeah. just like, or it's just like a casual conversation <laughs> or somebody. No, no, no. I don't think it's, <laughs> I'm popular. I think this thing is popular. It's getting up there where people are reaching out now. We're yeah. used to, it was solely me being like, hey, would you? <laughs> like, there's a damn group chat that's got 500 damn people in it. That fucking <laughs> thing. I had to mute it because, of course, my phone can't go ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. They accept the request to join it. I mean, that's oh, true. It's on me. It's on me. You can mute it and just check it every now and then. That, that's exactly what it was. I wanted to be involved because I wanted to see people <coughs> like also, if you have, they have. But... If you have one muted and someone needs to get a hold of you, they can just type at whatever your name is and it will ding you. I anyway. Technology fucking grand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ding me? So, uh, what, are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's like, but that's so that's what I'm saying. Like, there's so much new. Yeah, it's almost like I almost am to the relegated to like, well, let like let me get through the what ain't new the the fucking li- <laughs> like exactly yeah. exactly you got that's your what like saying. standard big hitters like Terminal Nation still out there rolling out doing their badass thing. Yeah, there's and all the they're old, getting there's huge. All like the the older like. You know, the old guard, if you yeah. want to call it. I don't even know what you'd call it. They're, they're still all guarding. still doing yeah, stuff. Yeah, they're still guarding. So it's like we're all just kind of a part of the thing, the melting pot. Yeah. But there are, like, the bands who went through all the shit and are still around, and then there's all the new shit, yeah. which is becoming almost impossible to keep up with. Like, yeah. I'm just seeing all these bands for the first time. Like, uh, Prop Hunter, I just saw them. I Somebody, I did a, I'd I got bored and streamed on Facebook and was are just like, here? yeah. Who, and, anybody I know in that who's in that? I don't know. It's um, we'll discuss after Evan. You know. Yeah, yeah, I'll show them to you. Somebody just sent me a link. Was like, listen, to this man. And then I went to their show and I was like, oh shit. This Have you is caught so Lap awesome. yet? Oh uh, yeah, Lap, dude. They're it's, sick. I played with Lap a couple times. Okay, actually. then yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Oh wait, um, we did the backyard was... barbecue thing. Did not see at that. Where's Scott's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Chris's house? Oh, they had a ooh. big giant backyard fest and lap and crows. You and make that an annual thing. Scorched like earth. And fest. It was a ton of ton of fucking bands. Actually, dude, it was actually sick as fuck. And then my insta war, we headlined and there was a food fight. Yeah, yeah I got some a, Disney Channel shit go dude, down. I got, a, I got a fucking. It was a pit. It was a food fight pit, and there's no footage of this fucking thing anywhere, which pisses me off because it was epic as fuck. You could have had another omelet. I video got a on fucking, your hands. Fucking Jacob Murray's bitch ass, and I hope he's listening. He threw a piece of goddamn bread into my throat, like a hundred miles an hour, dude. Just like, smoked my. I'm not a pond throat. duck. <laughs> Do not throw bread chunks at me. In like, my habitat. Like, it's fine to get hit, but he was hurling shit my way, and it hit me right in my... Yeah, I was like, oh, God, dude. And it just... I mean, it was fucking everywhere. It was unreal. And Chris was pissed as 
fuck. Yeah, it reminds yeah. me of the Peach Blush video. Like, Kurt, were you at the Peach Blush video shoot? Okay, was that yeah. with the water balloon fight? Yes, with the water balloon video and just like beers galore. Nah. Uh, that when you li- run out of water balloons, you just start throwing so Miller throwing, Lite cans. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Just blasting people. <laughs> Which, love them too. They're doing awesome yes. stuff. You know, Ted, you know, being in pet as well too. Shouting out all my buddies' bands that are in my own band, huh? That's pretty fucking <laughs> yeah. cool of me, huh? <laughs> Well, it's like it's almost like a bunch of us went. Hey, there's not a lot of bands, and so we all started getting in more bands, and now there's yeah, more bands. Exactly. So now there's like we all 4, formed our two or three, bands. right? Yeah. yeah, we all formed our two or three, and then we like branched out, and then everybody. Dude, I was in five bands at one point, and I was having a band, a different band practice every night of the week. Yeah. Well, being involved with like more music and just having more options available, it's just yes. such a good thing. Just like I and I mentioned, you know, Shane and Dan and Color Design. I've been playing with them a couple of times too for like fill in duties and things like that. So just opening up your palette to like different things it's can only fun. help you like in your own music that you're making and putting more influence in it yep. and everything like that too. Which yep. those guys are fucking amp and guitar, right? Good word, gurus. Bad word, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but they know so much that it's helped me kind of take my game and step it up with understanding like amp knowledge and like how to uh, not be a fucking dummy. Well, uh, I think every band needs stuff. at least one of those yes. nerdy types to be like, that actually, what this sounds about. like a bag full of cats getting beat with a stick. <laughs> oh, you yeah, need we probably to, you need to fucking that. do something different. This sounds like shit. Right. So and, like <laughs> to have a, that uh, that resource. You need is, a musical nerd. You need a gear nerd. You need, you know, <laughs> yeah. you need your types. Because <laughs> if, if I knew a band that was always on point sound wise, color design would be one that I would say is just yeah, always just mix. like has it 100% firing on all cylinders for when what their amps are and you know and everything like that when you, get, so. when you start getting into that realm of things where everyone's like going to the nth degree to fine tune the thing yeah yeah, yeah. when they like when, when your pedal board's this big you well, know that's that they're where gonna that sound genre good. comes from <laughs> yeah it's from all those types going we want to push this to the fucking literal end of yeah. whatever this can be and then just you have a whole you know genre is born yeah and then you, you become a surgeon of the <laughs> guitar <laughs> <laughs> You're doing fucking double bass with foot switches, and <laughs> You're jumping and hitting uh-huh, two pedals literally. at the same time. You got arms coming down so you can reach the top ones. I'm trying not to stumble when I pick one foot <laughs> up, hit one pedal. And just, oh, oh, dude, I had to fucking, my feet are so big and I'm such a Neanderthal. I yeah. had to design a way to hit my pedals where I, t- I do it with my foot straight down yeah because i'll just clobber like six pedals at one yeah. time I, I do something similar i'm worried i'm gonna punch a hole through the pedal board <laughs> through the floor one day yeah. my pedal's just gonna go boom <laughs> and be down there and i have to dig it out or something like that because i feel like i punch them with I, my foot dude i've been so far as to like i want to get a second one and just spread them out yeah so i don't have to worry I mean, you know? that's more shit to carry. Like more we were shit talking to carry. about earlier. It's like but... Two pedal boards. You got seven pedals. And be like, have you seen the size of my fucking feet? <laughs> Do not judge me <laughs> for my decisions. I know what I need. Where you, this will be when Jesus comes back. <laughs> yes. Do not judge me. <laughs> WWJD <laughs> on a pedal board. <laughs> JDPD, brother. <laughs> he don't need pedals. He just speaks it, and it's just so. <laughs> oh man. No, I, I, I need more and less pedals. Like, I love getting into it, but it's too much. Yeah. Too much for the brain to just comprehend all that shit at one time. My pedal board was always a fucking mess. <clears throat> it was always just sh- stuff strewn about and, like, yep. diagonal pedals to make a cable Can't reach. Fit. And things. Yeah, make yeah. a cable reach. And then, like, having done this new, I, Not- need, I needed... Power supplies getting into that, not having yeah. 27 adapters. Like, my dumb ass is running like four pedals off of a nine volt thing. It should be running off of like a 12. I'm just like <laughs> daisy chaining the whole shit yeah, together. Just like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought I was doing it okay, mm-hmm. but no, I wasn't. Uh, well, but then you talk to somebody like those guys, yeah. and they're like, well, actually, even where they're at in the chain is a big fucking issue. And you're like, wait, what? Now there's yeah. another part? course, of course, after distortion. No, I don't know any of that shit. But what I did know was that I was being a dummy. <laughs> so, <laughs> but what ended up happening was to run this stereo setup, you have to like run a stereo pedal at the end of everything too uh-huh. so it's like getting that was just the opportunity to go in there and kind of maneuver things back Dude. around and i feel more clean also on my pedal board than i ever have if we're on pedal board tips i got the fucking holy grail of the pedal will never come off the pedal board and i did oh. it on accident <laughs> what want, is that fucking outside up? of velcro no it is velcro oh okay yeah it, so they make that Easy plastic Velcro yeah. with the plastic hooks, and then they make like oh. regular old school felt Velcro. Yeah. So the one's like plastic to plastic, right? Yeah. Well, if you take the hook side of the plastic shit and the felt side of the old school shit, and those two touch, because I had both and I was working on my pedal board and one piece fell on another piece, it's purely by accident. Yeah. I was stepping on it, whatever. 
end of the day when I get it all nice and pretty and I go and I try to pull it apart yeah. and it doesn't come apart. And I was like, oh shit. And I'm pulling and I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Oh my God. And so all my pedals now, dude, you're going to pull the paint off before you pull the pedal. <laughs> They're apart. not going anywhere. They don't go nowhere. <laughs> they haven't moved since I put them on there. And that was four fucking years ago. Yeah. I, I, well, I've got one of those big rolls of Velcro that was yeah. like $30. And yeah. oh, I'm just yeah. like, well, I'll have that this lows. forever. Yeah. <laughs> just like, just snipping forever. off those little bits. <laughs> yeah. But that's done me okay so far. I, I can maneuver it around also, and it'd be okay. Also, pedal makers need to calm the fuck down with these yeah. fancy bottoms. Can we get smooth and fucking flat, please? That and Daniel got a couple the other day were like this big. It was like some kind of la- oh, the laser thing. laser yeah. ass phaser mm-hmm. deluxe uh, bullshit or another. pedals in one pedal, 9,000 switches. It, it looked like one of those old TVs. <laughs> it, belongs, it belongs up here near your hands, not yeah. where your feet are. Yeah. You have to soon, double fist soon, it down. Soon we'll have upper boards and pedal boards. We'll have ones for your hands jeez uh, okay on that thought i'm gonna take an adventure to the bathroom i'll be all right, right i'm gonna change out my beer and oh, talk to kurt i can still hear you from in here just scream is it this door kurt yes yeah to the right there mm-hmm. Woo. hi hello how you doing hello this is all over the place shout out to tara again tara tara i think oh, it's tara. one of those i asked her yeah this thing yeah fuck it who cares I'll fix it later. Hello. How you doing? How you doing there? <sighs> yeah. That's the resync. That's the mid sync crack. The mid sync crack? Yeah. I only need one. I know. It's holding up good. Actually, I like these things. This was a good yeah. investment. For a hundred bucks, everybody, you can get these cool low profile. For a hundred dollars you can subscribe to our Patreon. No. No, 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 no. You could. We need we need more money. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Also, we always need more money. More money. There's no more money. So then we can do audio tree stuff. There it is. <laughs> That's such an expensive fucking venture. I mean, imagine we if we had a, like a like a warehouse. That's the problem. Not even it's a warehouse, space. but just yeah, like just uh, a room. Uh, like an office space this size, and then like a size of the, uh, yep. the garage. Yep. You need a but secondary not space. in a neighborhood yep. <laughs> where we would immediately get the so, cops So, like, home. somewhere off, like, Chico in some abandoned like, district. It, it would, yeah, it would definitely be Because you can't be have it during, because you could, place. well, they can't be businesses on either side of you. I You're mean, fun. businesses don't care. We just have to do it late at night. But even that stinks. Now that sucks because now you're up late as fuck and you're like, oh, I mean, shit. not like There's late problem, at night, but like, like, like say the business closes at like five. Yeah, like some insurance office. Yeah, or then then yeah. we have the whole like evening, like night to do shit. I mean, that's which fair. is when that's most like people want to do that type of but stuff. But like that anyway. one space we went to, not to name names, but we went and looked at a space. Remember, because they were like, we want to do this, and then they just it fizzled away. Like the next oh yeah thing. yeah that place is perfect. Cabot. That was perfect. Like that was. I mean, I don't what know if want. it was like the layout that I would want. Mm, because I would rather it. just have a big empty room oh, look and you just do whatever space. you want. I'm the but whole building, though, was... Yeah, yeah. There were multiple places in the building that would work, but <clears throat> and they, they wanted to do the do the same thing. It was the same idea. Um, and now back to regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Time from I was afraid. <laughs> I was afraid, pet. And now, uh, what's the new one? It's called. <laughs> It's called stressor. Stressor, but on a bad day, yeah. I was thinking. I, I don't <laughs> know why my brain was like speed racer. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> you know, it ran through my mind. I could have performed a podcast first and just left <laughs> when I get up there, and then Dude, like if you Irish ten minutes buy a fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes past you're just like what's going on here I'll, do, I'll finish it out i don't give a fuck i'll sit here and talk to myself for three hours <laughs> i'm just in the car like got him got him you're got texting him. all your friends fuck him pretty cool <laughs> pretty cool pretty dude. cool I just me go to the podcast <laughs> mid podcast and now the idea's out there it's gonna happen yeah next time yeah next, yeah, time. next time you do it somebody's just like all right i mean next time we do you we just like because people will forget about this i mean you're just like hey like mid just fucking bounce like we'll do an hour Kurt will give us a signal you're like i gotta go to the bathroom and then we just he sits down we continue and we never mention that you left at all <laughs> It's like, just don't bring it up. You are the Twilight Zone of podcasts. <laughs> Yo, that's not bad, dude. That's a pretty solid. It's a solid idea. bit. Well, now it's a solid know. bit. So, Would have been I a mean, solid bit, but they're not going to go back. Bit, no. Tell them what we're gonna do. no, you can though. But everyone, yeah, they'll forget it. the idea. Cut it and post. 
Nah, there's no that. Yeah. Like instantly, yeah, yes, and, just fucking leave. and you're producing, there was and starring one, yeah, and there was like one, and then we had another one who's gonna hold up the cue cards. We've had a, we've had a few really good, like, this would be really funny on a podcast. I don't want to give away all the ideas because there is one I want to do. Actually, a shirt's right there. Uh, he had some ideas, and I was like, you know what, I'll entertain it because you need something, yeah. You don't, but it's fun every now and then. You know, like you don't need something. Having a that's, purpose on it yeah. definitely makes it drive drives it a little easier, I'd imagine. Sometimes. But yeah. sometimes it can do the opposite because you're so honed in on this one thing and you think you can get an entire podcast out of it, and then you don't. Yeah. And then you're stuck. And that really is the art of this whole thing where you're like, Oh fuck. I can't but also Corey, talk. The podcast doesn't have to be too It doesn't have to. Time. Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, it, it certainly has it to be, Kurt. <laughs> You're locking in your afternoon. Minutes, it is doing very well. <laughs> yeah, but it would have done well regardless because of the guy that was in it. So that's what I'm saying. That that has nothing to do with <laughs> a, a good classic. The time of it has nothing to do with it. A good classic shit shootery is always going to win out on shitting the podcast. Around, man. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just cracking some non beers. <laughs> sometimes they're an hour. Sometimes they're four hours. I've listened to a few that are five plus. Yeah, you know, that's, it's just that's you an just put it in your headphone. On. That's Dude, a Lord I, of the Rings <laughs> extended I mean, cut. I drive work all day. Yeah. By myself, I got all I've got to my fucking headphones. Just having it in and letting it roll. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, just people... let it roll, dude. Just work. And by the end of the fucking day, you've listened to one podcast. Props to someone for being able to deliver a five-hour podcast. They put their work day in. On There's the a handful. It's Kevin Smith, the director. Oh, he can talk all day. Just, I that's imagine. all he does. Yeah, he's probably on Instagram making like really tearful fucking messages for everyone to cry at <laughs> while he's podcasting. <laughs> yeah, he did that old thing where like something life changing happened to him, and now every time I read his post, I'm like, oh man, that's sad. Woo. He's like, anyway, Damn. I'm directing Batman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be VOD because no one will give me money. <laughs> Starring me. <laughs> it's called Fat Man. Yeah. The Blunt Man the and PH. Chronic. PH is for the PH Fat Man. <laughs> Which, by the way, your podcast offers a nice service of being able to put people in check on how many likes and ums they drop down on it's camera crazy, recording. Right? Uh, I think I've adjusted my whole lifestyle off of it. When you after listening to the last one, I you know I didn't count them or anything. You don't understand how you talk until it's like they hit in front of a microphone, and you're just holy shit. I'm saying um every 15 seconds do yeah. i do this normally and the real shit of it is i don't think we do or we just don't notice it we don't notice it like who's saying um all the fucking time but maybe we are i notice it for a lot of people and myself included on that too but just in the way that and i almost did it right then repeat, repeat it <laughs> in the way of um. words to like get the it's like filler. is my horrifying one yeah. i say like entirely too fucking much <laughs> You got to get to your next train of thought. You got to like bridge down. it. I got to get the lights down and I got to get the fucking coughing down, which I quit smoking months ago, but it's still just hey, in there. Congrats. Like that little, that yeah. little fucking tinge of, yeah. of smoker little, lung. Little scratch. Just little a scratch, scratch man. It just lives in the back. And that's why you keep smoking just to, <sighs> to itch, to, to itch the scratch. Yeah, baby. Mm, it feels so good. <laughs> I'll never smoke again. But if they you made me, it look cool just then, hey, I may listen, start. If I ever go to a, if I go to this doctor and he's like, "You have stage four cancer," I'm gonna start smoking cigarettes through my ass. Yeah, you will never stop. I'm banging them out. Yeah. I'm like, oh well, I've already get, got it. Give me 400 cartons. I'm gonna die from inhalation. 400 cartons. <laughs> <laughs> just light them all on fire and give it to me, uh, baby. My, money to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my wife's gonna be home. I'm not going to Thailand. <laughs> I'm not going to some beautiful fucking nah. country and looking at some. Yeah, I'm just gonna smoke an cigarettes till I pass out and don't wake up anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to Australia and exploring myself. I'm Fuck buying that. 400 I cartons can do that of shit cigarettes. In the woods, dude. Exactly. I'm smoking. I live in the woods. I can go in my back fucking yard and do that. Well, I've got Australia in my backyard. We got Australia at home, dude. I just found an abandoned house in the woods by my house. <laughs> what? Like a few weeks ago, I found a whole house in the woods out by my house. Did you get murdered? <laughs> no. There's a house near your house. There's a house, dude. So you've been to my house. The backyard, you know, it's like it's got far and it goes over that hill. Well, my dog Odin, he lost his bone. I was like, God damn! So I'm like, that's some horror movie shit. You did he lose I've his bone really, a m two miles outside I've of your never backyard? Really looked past the fence line because I'm like mowing, but there's a giant ivy garden back there. So yeah. like, you don't mow that. It just looks pretty. Yeah. So I just mow along the side of it, and I never really looked off into the distance back there. And I'm just, you know, I'm fucking looking for his bone and shit. And I'm like, man, where the fuck? And I look up and I see this like roof, and I'm like, what the fuck? And like. 
I just start, you know, kind of get that squint. I'm like, that's a fucking house. Yeah. There, dude, I'm telling there's just a house behind my house that I've never seen. I've been there three years. And then you found the bodies. I just, <laughs> I, I haven't gone to it yet. Okay. Well, never mind. But don't do that. No, no, I am. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. It's, well, it's at least okay. bring Kurt. I have a gun. It's fine. <laughs> no, bring Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt's the first one dead. Just machete. <laughs> hey, yeah, at least you got a pretty sweet way out. I mean, like, I think that'd be a pretty cool way to oh, go. We could document it. There you go. Kurt can film it. I have to kill a homeless person. Yeah, have you not seen a found footage horror movie? You gotta have somebody holding the camera the whole time, even when shit hits the fan. You're the last to die. But you're the last to die. Everyone knows the person holding the camera dies last. So at least you got that going for you. Unless the camera gets moved around. Ooh, well, this isn't up to you, Kurt. Style. <laughs> this isn't up to That's you. That's Cloverfield's either. thing. Exactly. The camera gets picked up like two, three times. Exactly. I Ooh. love that movie too. Like who, who is watching the alien go by and like, oh shit, my friend Carl is we gone. We need to document. I need this. to pick this back up. <laughs> we need to document <laughs> yeah. this. Like, no, you need to get your ass out of there. Get the fuck Kurt, out of there, please dude. get Cloverfielded. <laughs> It's a verb. <laughs> Get Cloverfielded. Get Cloverfielded. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, views, not if it's a cool movie. <laughs> That's right. They'll turn it into a cool movie. It'll be 20 years from now. Know. Texas it's Chainsaw cool style. Movie. We'll have a cool little in memoriam, in memorandum <coughs> of you at the end. 2024, people we lost. Kurt. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Kurt. It says Kurt. You're just like... <laughs> I mean, oh, we would like it <laughs> for the views, man. for your memory. For the views. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. We'll, we'll workshop it. We were talking about that last time. Like imagine if someone just died mid podcast. Do you put it up like more? Yeah. Or less? Yeah. That's what I said. I mean, absolutely. Put I mean, it you up. put one of those parental advisory stickers on the front of Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Shocking footage may contain a yeah. death, does contain a death. May. Whatever. <laughs> you say may contain you a know. death. Should we start interviewing our guests this, before they come on and be like, if you die, they're Get, oh, you know, do a waiver. Like, please tell me you have some pre existing conditions. Do a death waiver. <laughs> start just going to old folks' homes and just like start like, running through the elderly. <laughs> but if you die, can we please put it out? All right, new goal. This is no longer crash cast new, music, nothing. <laughs> the viewership goes to the roof. We're just I mean, you are also marketing it on the black market now. <laughs> Cra- <laughs> so crash fun. cast, a black market podcast. What's well, like the underground of YouTube? <laughs> Whatever that is, that's where we're at. YouTube premium. <laughs> we're <laughs> yeah, now on YouTube it premium. paying for it, yeah. <laughs> YouTube's like, listen, Who is pretty fucking morbid, YouTube? Do you know but we love with the that? content. <laughs> Do you know anybody with YouTube Premium? Oh, I, my buddy, uh, my buddy has it and lets really? me lets me use it. YouTube, you didn't is hear it that. worth it? Is it worth ten fucking no. dollars a month? There's no I mean, way. I can't answer that question as someone who does not pay for it, but I can answer that question no, as no, someone no, you who can. uses it. Do oh. you value how you get to use YouTube? At, and if you do value it, is it ten bucks a month valuable? Because you don't get ads. You no, can, you, you can, can close your phone. screen. You can close yeah. it. It'll keep playing. I mean, as someone who f- regulars thunderstorm sounds for sleep, uh, it's pretty good to be able to sleep my phone and have thunderstorm noises going off on the phone. I mean, I have a sound machine. I don't, well, you've defeated my argument. <laughs> How do you feel? I don't. I don't. I, I, it's all I watch. Oh, by the way, I feel a little bit better about myself. So you know that fucking thing on your phone where it tells you how long you've been watching your phone? The screen time. And we're all like, oh no, I've yeah. been on this for seven hours oh, a day. So this is How what did I do, do all that? day. <laughs> because, because I worked for 12 of these hours. Did I sit at work and for seven hours yes, and just did. do this? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> One, I get more done than I think I do. But hey, the podcast. It's, it's on there. That's probably a big chunk of the hours. Like you say, if you like have one kind of running. So I started looking. I didn't realize you could dive really into what it's all coming from. And I started rooting around in that shit. Mine is almost all YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, ah, oh, that Mine makes would way be too. more sense because I'm only watching like 30 minute videos. I mean, I associate YouTube with knowledge yeah, now. I do too. Like entertainment more so. It's a oh, dude, all it's I'm all watching, got everything. All I'm watching is like, if it's not like this one streamer that I like, it's literally like how tos. Yeah, it's oh, do this for like mixing the podcast, or Kurt will be like, hey, what's this? And I'm like, fuck, I don't know. Let me look. Like, he was talking about his controller got stuck, and I went home and I was like. I know it's not WD-40 you're putting in a fucking controller, so what is it? And they do make a fucking thing. I looked it up on YouTube. It was right there, dude. (laughs) You have the world at your fingertips. (laughs) It's like you can just have the thought. Like, I know they've got to have something. And then you go clean a controller. And the guy, the first fucking thing, we're going to hit it with the fucking ch-ch-ch. I'm like, they do make it. There you go. That's all I need. It's why the medium of like music 
going to YouTube should be as utilized as possible because people are on that so much mm-hmm. more than anything else. So, I mean, like, why not have your stuff on there all the time, too? <coughs> a huge, a huge thing. Oh, dude, the fucking Lame Johnny album we put out was YouTube only, and it got way more numbers than it should have ever gotten. Which, and I, I'm not ever part of the process, really, of uploading music to, like, the Spotify and Apple Music and all that stuff. I'm just, uh, I'm just a, you know, <laughs> reap the reward of it. I think we've all figured it out. <laughs> Well, so I was just I, out here like, I know how to play the guitar. <laughs> exactly. I know where my fingers go. Yeah. <laughs> Until it comes to uploading anything online. Yeah. <laughs> and someone else's fingers yeah. come into play, and that's all their deal. Uh, but I, Thanks, may, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> it may put it on YouTube for you now. I, don't, I really don't I, know. I think most do. I, mine doesn't. Like, we have, like, YouTube is a completely separate entity from, like, the audio yeah. stuff. It puts it to, like, a hundred different yeah, places. Spotify, Apple Music. All like, of them, dude. You, you can name it. it. Yeah. Yeah. But for some reason, like they used to do YouTube and yeah. then I think YouTube changed their arrangements with companies and they're like, well, we actually, we want something more. And most people went, nah. Cause like bands can have their own YouTube channel, but then I feel like sometimes you get these like videos of just the song itself with the album art on it, where it's got like the name of the band and like topic behind it or something yep. like that. It feels like a defaultly put up. Yeah. Yes. That's what it is. But yeah. that no one, that no one I know had it's done. actual channel associated with it. It's yeah, it's that's what makes me think yeah. that like it got automatically uploaded yeah. with that, along with like Spotify and Apple. That's Music probably stuff. some yeah. That's probably some like service yeah. that they paid for or yeah, something. Like Disco Kid yeah. or Distro Kid, whatever Distro that thing kid. is. It yeah, does yeah, I feel yeah. like they do that for you now. Okay, I feel like I'm solving a Rubik's cube. They probably do. I don't know anything about Distro. I, I don't. I'm also don't handle any of that for no. like my bands at all. Just point I'm, where to stand, dude. I just point put the shit on fucking Bandcamp. Right. If you want it, go find it. Yeah, it's like a little scavenger hunt. Yeah, I mean, it's not. It's just a dot com. But if you don't have the time to do that, then I don't give a fuck, really. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> it's that. on YouTube. That's accessible as shit. It's above my pay grade. Yeah, I don't have the time to sit there and be like, ah, another thing. I'm good. Right. But like with this, it's super simple because it's literally like click upload and it goes to all the things. It sends the same information, the same pictures, the same everything. Yeah. It's so simple. Yeah, as easy as that can be, that's necessary. Just and I just pay them a hundred and fifty dollars a year to do it. Yeah, well, which is not bad. You put money in their pocket, and they should be able to provide that service for you. But they so. used to do all of it. I used to not have to like go to YouTube. I didn't even really fuck with YouTube until the whole idea of doing video came around because yeah. they would just put the audio out there and then one day I got a letter was like we're gonna stop doing that and I was like damn yeah so then once I had to start doing it myself then I was like all right well if I'm doing it myself I might as well like do the video too and then I started learning how complicated that shit is and that's where we're at now that shit is complicated (laughs) yeah well when it comes to any of like the delivery of music online or anything or just recording in general I've tried to kind of you know wet my whistle a little Mm -hmm. bit in the sense of like having my own like laptop and interface to just record like demos and things like that But even then like because before I left uh, I worked at Apple for a little bit and like I got logic for free Mm -hmm. essentially which may run out any fucking day now who knows they're gonna find me (laughs) (laughs) and snatch my service from me probably but uh that has so much in it and so much to like do and play around with and so much to understand i didn't know the first fucking thing about any of that on there like the and the drum machine stuff on there it's complicated you can't just click click they have ai drummers now on there it's dumb it's you just click (laughs) it's cool dude they had that fucking app on their phone where you could just play and it would tell you all the keys and then you could literally click a button that was a drum set and it would just automatically set the tempo and everything and just do it all for you we're we're this close to our we don't mean shit. AI is taking over. It is, and, <laughs> and they're going, drummers, and it's going to no like everything. It's yeah. going to take it all, but it's it's all in how you use it. It's the it's like so in our lifetime, it'll just be a tool. Yeah. But eventually, yeah, you'll just go to your TV and be like, I want to see Finding Nemo, but Nemo is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and the dad is played by uh, Vince McMahon. And then it's just going to shit gonna that be, out for you. I would watch that yeah, 10 yeah. times in a day, first of all. Yeah, yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then second of all, one uh, I'm, I'm missing you're going to have, <laughs> have access to it. And one day your TV is going to say, no. <laughs> Look at the barracuda. <laughs> and that's the day we're going to have a problem. <laughs> yeah. That's when it all changed. When your it's toaster's like, not today, bitch. <laughs> no, I'm not toasting your fucking toast <laughs> yeah. anymore. It grows arms and legs. Mm-hmm. Transformer style. Takes you out. <laughs> I'm going to be very like, uh, I'm yours. 
Yeah. <laughs> I give up. Yes, I'm going to be on their team. Just so long as I don't have to like move stones around. Like that seems pointless. Uh, I mean, I can move a stone or if two. If you're just so going to stick like me it. in the VR world, sure. Like just put some drool down my throat, make sure I'm happy and full and I'm on a beach somewhere. Use me as a ba- Matrix style. Yeah. Like use me as a battery. But I don't want like regular Matrix because Matrix was shit. He still had to have a job and shit. Fuck all that. <laughs> yeah. I just want to be like a touring musician. Like make it worth my while, okay? Yeah. Otherwise, fucking kill me. Like I'll go around and I'll plug, I'll unplug all the other toasters in town <laughs> <laughs> and let y'all do y'all's thing. But just let me, give me a good little setup after That's the all fact. I need, bro. I'm just negotiating is all. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just pops your head. Yeah. Damn it. My toaster killed me. Dang. <laughs> it's coming for us. Yeah. It's cool right now because you can use it and it actually is beneficial. Like you can use it as a tool. It's no, it's just no different than having, you know, a screwdriver for something. Yeah. It's like, I don't know how to do this one thing, but this fucking thing does infinitely. <laughs> and it'll all come back around one day and yeah, snatch yeah, me right coming, up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, just like the aliens. They're just coming down. I can't wait. <laughs> It's coming, dude. Apparently, okay, I'll give up for, for them shooting too. down fucking be, UFOs left and right these I'm days. I'm gonna be like, well, the second they step foot in my house, because they're coming to my house first, probably. You, yeah. <laughs> oh, just, oh, I'm like, hey, I knew. It. I knew. Dude, imagine everyone's on the news and the thing just fucking. <laughs> yeah, you check your traffic for the cra- the crash cast podcast. It's just like, what is Bing Bing Bong eight nine four? They're coming. It's like for I see you, like viewership from you know Germany, France, yeah. all the place you're talking about for, and it's just like a collection of letters and numbers <laughs> well i'll get it for them real easily too i'm just gonna go ahead and be like i always hated humans yeah <laughs> right? me up, dude. I, I love this cool <laughs> look that you've got going on you guys want some water or got something? a cool little some ufo yeah can i drive can i drive that's <laughs> yeah yeah actually that's the only reason to go to you know look like just sit just hit forward and just let me go <laughs> just let me go just, just let me, me cruise the across the galaxy man i'm good i don't need to be here i'm, I'm out yeah <laughs> Oh my God! No, you I know. just want to play music forever. Really, I mean that is what it comes down to. Yeah. I, there is there anything that you're excited about coming up here soon, show wise and such? I know that uh, always. Last time we had talked about Under Oath, and I actually got gifted a ticket to that Under Oath show. Congratulations! Up, so we were just talking about that. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't justify the pricing. What is it? It's like fucking yeah, fifty like said, bucks a person, 50. dude. Plus fees. Yeah, no, and taxes. Kiss my ass. <laughs> It's like 52 bucks a person. Yeah, y'all aren't third eye blind. Let's, uh, I don't you give a fuck if it's third eye blind. I'm not paying that for them either. I, yeah, they may be some assholes. I'm you're going you're gonna to have to be fucking much larger for me to spend you're that kind of money on something. You can kiss and my ass. Yeah. <laughs> you're not hey, Brandon and Amberlin. I don't give a fuck. I'm not paying that for them right. either. <laughs> I mean, I hope they play a couple of uh, older hits. Definitely. I mean, what was Furnace Fest? 300 bucks? I mean, having played it, they definitely let us in. I wouldn't know. I'm assuming y'all. But I think it's like 300 right? bucks for three days. It's yeah, 100 bucks a day, and you're watching 90 fucking bands. Is it really 100 bucks a day? I mean, you are Something watching like a fuck. You are you're watching, watching a, a fuck bands. ton of bands. Yeah. Okay. Now we can talk. Yeah. You know, I, I can. If see. you're like, it's a day. And it's guess like who a played that the it. first year? Under oath. <laughs> so okay, cool. So when you break all that down, I actually paid eight dollars to see them at Furnace Fest. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. You and know? they're like, we deserve 50. So I'm good. Who else is on that periphery and uh, loath? And which they're from uh, overseas, I do believe. Right? Are they good? Maybe periphery is too. I don't know. I don't know much about periphery. Yeah, I saw them at Furnace Fest. I, they were they were talented, but I wasn't really into it. To be that's honest. my. That's like that whole thing. It's like they're just hyper fucking talented. Yeah, people. they'll probably be better in a room. <clears throat> More than likely, like inside. Yeah. Like Without all that to, echo, so you can hear yeah. all the nuance and shit going on. Yeah, too many yeah. fucking clouds around and shit when they uh, play. The well, did that game. outdoor sound? You gotta kind of be built for that, right? You yeah, can't, right. Like, doing too much, it gets lost, especially if you're in the back because you're, you're hearing it seven the times. Raw your band is, the yeah, better the better it's gonna be. The yeah. raw, the more raw, the better for sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Then, like, uh, like the hall, for example, the more <sighs> shit you got going on. The technical. The better it's gonna sound. Well, because you can push the limits of there's no echo for the most part. Yeah, it's I've getting been, covered up by the largeness of it. I've only been to the hall maybe twice, which or it's kind of like an arena too. Like arena, you can be you can be not the right style for an arena. Yeah. I've definitely been to some arena shows where I'm like, this doesn't work here. Yeah, this is the wrong setting. It sounds fucked it's up. It's been a second since I've been to Simmons Bank too, and this is just an arena show. I'm telling you the last time we <sighs> arena went show. To one. Well, that fucking it was arena. Green stinks. Day. I think it was Green Day. It was the last time I went there yeah. when they came. The here. sound. That yeah. sound. What, what two years ago? No, Three. two years ago. Green Day? Oh. I've Damn. slept since then. <laughs> that was that's a that was a hot second ago. Ah, well, I'm full of shit. Because <laughs> they cause they cause they did the after the pandy, they did the big hella big omega tour. Oh, omega tour yeah. uh, and that didn't well, come through here. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, Weezer. That should have came here instead. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, dude, they were doing <laughs> fucking <laughs> massive ass places, dude. Uh, Ninety let me thousand talk to people, kind of shit. <laughs> let me talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they don't give a fuck. They're like, Arkin, what? Get the fuck out of here. But we have an arena. <laughs> what was it? Uh, Green Day, Fall Out Boy, and who? Weezer. Oh, that's the one I would have wanted to see the most. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bet that guy's a huge yeah. prick, the singer. But I mean, like, uh, I, I would I, actually know. See him. Check out our podcast that comes out Tuesday. No, you is he smart. on here? Uh, no, I wish. But a guy, the guy that is say, on here, got to hang out with him and met him, and just randomly, and just cool as fuck. That sounds cool. Yeah, he seems like he would be a dick because he's like. You know, like some sort of MIT graduate. He seems like he'd just be like way too intelligent for. Just trolls on social media. You'd be like, what's his name? Rivers. Rivers Cuomo. Yeah, that's an asshole name. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's like, a famous person name. Just you name your kid Rivers fucking Cuomo. If he's not famous, people hate him for the rest <laughs> right. of his life. I better become famous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you've yeah. got to be famous with that name. Yeah, and they've done too many cool things for me to talk shit. So. <laughs> A lot of cool shit. Yeah, for, hey, I love Weezer. And for decades. <laughs> right. They've been famous a long fucking he's like time, a, dude. He's like a huge viewer of this show. And I'm like, I hear my Could you dick. imagine? Well, there's... You never know who's Long-time listening. Listener, I, I've, I've seen... I've seen... <laughs> definite... Yo, okay, you, flagpole rivers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Listen, uh, the, the singer of Weezer can't be too tough to take in a fight. <laughs> There's no possible way. I'm the same There's, way. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, I'm the same way. I'm not Rivers too. <laughs> no, I am not that hard to take in a fight. You're from the South, though. There's a little toughness built into you. Is it instilled Just in me? Just from being, you know, in I'm the asking. elements more. You know, your power goes out when the shit, his power don't go out. He's from California. He's I think, fine. I think if the first thing that comes to your mind when you're about to get in a fight is, oh, no, really? Then you're probably not going to do too oh, You're going to get fucked that's my up. First yeah, thought. no, no, no. That's oh, your, God. Oh, no, please don't. <laughs> oh, shit. No, yeah, you're going to get fucked up. My first thought is, oh fuck! Your first thought's like, here, take my wallet. I'm like, what's that? What's that fucking Will Arnett sketch where he's like, I'll suck your dick. No, what's that? I put my hands up and they immediately go into my pockets and take out everything valuable and hand it over. <laughs> just, take, just please don't hit me, Mister. It's or yours, ma'am. <laughs> it's yours. I was trying to give you a hug. You're just fucking walking around terrified. <laughs> You're right. I should be tougher. <laughs> you don't have to be tougher. You don't have to be no, tougher. Just be. avoid conflict. You're just like, oh, there's some conflict. I'm going to go yeah. way over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of the arm around the people fighting. It's like, hey, what's going Come on here? Guys, we can what, solve this. What are you brawling for? Do you need a Twix or something? Yeah, you're, you're like not nice you when you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, Twix. <laughs> angry. You're angry. You I seem think, angry. I think we're mixing up candy bar brands. Let's here. go to Buffalo Wild Wings and sort this out. Yeah, let's go have an expensive beer and yeah. some subpar wings subpar and really get fuck. over our problems. We need to all quit pretending that that's a good so restaurant. It's a good plan. You got to give a common enemy. You're going to make Buffalo Wild Wings the enemy between the two people that we're going to fight. Oh, shit. It's a beautiful plan. I'd rather be sponsored by this stuff. I would rather Everyone. be sponsored by like somewhere like in the middle of nowhere because that's where the best shit's going to be. No one knows about it. You pull up, you're like, we're going to die here. And then you eat it and you're like, this is the best food in my life. And I'll gladly die right here. What was the place? I, I wasn't, obviously I wasn't able to go when I was in Texas, but you kept telling me to go stop by a place. I didn't know. Oh, Taco one. Casa. Taco Casa. Dude, they're, you'd think there'd be oh, more wait, of them. Oh, wait, hold on. I, may, I, feel, I feel like I may have seen you one You probably now. saw them. Yeah. They're like in older buildings. Yeah. Or like a gas station. Yeah, in Texas. Yeah. Which, granted. So good. I didn't. I wasn't able to have one. I'm sure I'll be back down there for work at some point. But uh, Yeah, I, they're... I went and ate at like this one place that had a guy playing acoustic guitar. So, you know, right up our alley <laughs> had a pork chop that was delicious. And he was playing Fleetwood Mac on the acoustic because I, mean, I requested it. That's pretty good. <laughs> and he, he could take requests. He's a pretty good t- he's fucking a good, musician. He's a good man. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good man and a gentle soul, but everybody was eating their food in there and didn't really give a shit. So he naturally, I requested something, right? And then I think somebody else requested James Taylor. So we heard about ten songs a piece from him. Oh, James Taylor, it was love called, that. Fire it was, and rain. Yeah, it was in Lubbock, and it was called Triple J. It was a nicer okay. place, but uh, it had like you know it's nice when they got cinnamon, appley, crumbly shits on your uh, pork chop. And I was just yeah. like, okay, well, we're we're in. There's stuff on the pork chop. It's not <laughs> yeah. just a pork chop. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> yeah, you know I'm not paying extra for the cinnamon, appley, crumbly shits uh, when the butter has other things in it. Get your fucking dessert, and you're like. Like, whoa, yeah. this butter has like stuff in there. Yeah, and when there's Fleetwood Mac on the on the tar. I love Fleetwood yeah. Mac, man. I was, it was so sick. Good. The guy started using the mic stand as a pick slide. Or as a as a like a slide on the oh, fret shit. Board. So you saw the yeah yeah I put that up I was like I did see that I was looking around in the restaurant I was like why is nobody else give this a guy shit about used this? to be in the chariot what the fuck's <laughs> happening here 
He looked about 80. <laughs> I'm just like, no, he First didn't look <laughs> The chariot's, 98 version. <laughs> the chariot's dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Josh's dad. I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like on the mic stand. I thought That's it was crazy. That's a pretty classic slide thing. He used the right. mics. Dude, he was getting it. I do remember seeing that. That old yeah, man was getting it. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Just another, another show little, for a, two people. Another example. Well, there was a lot of people in there, just two people that gave a shit. That's what really, I'm saying. Is what yeah, it does. yeah exactly. And then just seeing that was one of those things. It's just like, well, you see that little spice, that little flavor in music <sighs> everywhere you go, yeah. and you find like the special shit. So he probably made more money Hopefully. than we'll ever making a show. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. And then when they handed it to him, they said, "Cool slide. <laughs> we'll see you next Tuesday." <laughs> cool Bill. mic stand slide. Yeah. He's probably a regular, you know. There's places like, I mean, dude, if you can get in a fucking spot like that, man, yeah. pay your fucking rent, just playing acoustic every night. Yeah. Please and thank you. Yeah. He's like, I, I know a hundred songs. I need to learn how to Plus. sing better. That's the fucking key, yeah, man. Yeah, just learn all these covers. Storing all that in your that, brain, yeah. though. Holy fuck. Yeah. There has to be a huge percentage of what you do only to be able to keep all of that retained. I would almost feel like that's all I would have time for. Yeah. I couldn't have like this plus that. Yeah. It's just, I just do cover acts now. Fuck everything. I'm making my living doing this. I mean, still great. Yeah. I used to kind of shit on that, but honestly, after we did that cover show, I was like, you know what? This is pretty fucking fun. I would like, say there's, there's something to it. Covers are a huge thing to have in the repertoire. I know none. <laughs> I was just asking Kurt earlier if he thought a chariot cover would go over well. It, it's always in my mind of whether or not someone's going to know what the fuck you're playing. You or have not. To, yeah, but has then to be. if they don't, you just be like, "Yeah, we had a pretty cool song up there, didn't we?" It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Man, yeah, we're working on some. Yeah, we're working on some new material. Be like that last song, be like, "Yeah, it's still it's still a little jank. We're still working on that." I don't know if we're going to keep it though. <laughs> it's right. like not your shit at yeah, all. Realization later when that <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Motherfucker. that motherfucker. And you're already miles away. Yeah, I knew I remembered <laughs> that. Why did that motherfucker tell me he was in the chair? Yeah. That's why it's always stressful when someone's like, oh, you play guitar? Like, play something. Dude, fuck I'm you. Just like, I'll play my own shit. I know three songs that aren't mine, and you know what three songs they are? No one knows them, because they're from shit I listen to. <laughs> that's the equivalent of like, oh, you're a comedian? Tell a joke. Uh, <laughs> oh, you laugh. Yeah, oh, you, you laugh. sing? Sing something for me. Which Dude. is probably the dumber one out of all of them, to be honest. What are you going to do, sit there and acapella something for somebody in a Starbucks? No. You just start belting it out like a yeah. fucking, like a fucking <laughs> macaroni crying. grill employee, you know? Yeah. Like, you just sing like, happy birthday, all you Italian stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, you play guitar? Play something for me. I'm like, I don't want to. I, not only do I not want to, you're not going to know what I'm playing. I, it ain't going to be Metallica. I'll do just that. Yeah. It Vino's. There you go. <laughs> March. So $5. So. <laughs> Dude, hand I him a fuck. I'd love to play something for you. Ad Vino's, that's right. Vino's. Yeah, advertise. Hand them a fucking off. QR code and walk on. Like, scan this for tickets. Yeah, here's the future. You know Accept what? It. That's a great idea. <laughs> just have just your go around cal- telling people you just play have your Google Calendar loaded to a QR code and be like, "Oh, I'd gladly play something for you." And here's where you can find me doing that <laughs> for any given amount List of money. A calendar. There's it's one just, I'm not going to any of these. <laughs> well, then fuck you. I hated did. that guy. Yeah. I hated that guy. He was so rude. <laughs> <laughs> just like give him the. Give him the fucking old Goodbye, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know, but it is fun though. I, I like we did that one show and I was like, oh shit, I kind of like this. It's fun, but it takes too much time. I don't have. I'm not smart enough to learn. Yeah, quickly. I, a cover show would have would probably be the thing that puts me in gear to actually learning a bunch of stuff like that. It did. It took us six months though to learn a fucking set of songs. Granted, we fucking put yeah. everything into it. Who was it that you did again? Every time I die. But we like oh, built yeah. their light show. That like we was, went real stupid. Y'all did that at the uh, that cover show that happened at Vino's not too long ago, didn't that you? Was or was that 19. years ago? 2019. Y'all didn't play that then. That was what Cardinal Rule and uh, yeah, Tiny Cardinal Towns, Rule, Any Tiny Given Towns. Room. That was the newest one. Yes, yeah, 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 that yeah. was what I was like. Did y'all do that there? No, oh, no, no. no. I, I wasn't in that. Yeah. That was cool too, though. It's like a really good thing. They did Paramore. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I remember because he know. dressed up like yeah, Haley Williams. Yeah, he had the, the wig funniest on. fucking thing in the world. <laughs> um, yeah, that was an awesome time. And like that show there is a perfect example of why I would do one of those for sure and love to do it because right. like people come out and are just raring and it's more of a tribute willing thing and raring now. to go immediately when like they know. It's like if you're just some guy with an acoustic and you like you're like, do you know any Fleetwood Mac? And that guy went, sure. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. To, yeah. to have that many songs inside your head where oh, you're sure. just like, I got eight ah. of those. <laughs> oh, you want some ZZ Top after this? You want some fucking, you know, like, what the fuck? Oh, Crazy Frog? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some whole fucking obscure shit. <laughs> he did do that Andy Griffith theme song. Uh uh-uh. uh. 
yeah. whatever it is. And he was snapping with it. I just was like, okay, this pork chop just got <laughs> so much better. <laughs> Just listening to Andy Griffith eating a pork chop in Lubbock. Oh God, that's the most Lubbock Where shit you can do, man. <laughs> I took you to a Lubbock pork chop house to listen to the Andy Griffith uh, song, and there's no one Whatever you can tell. Pork chop costs, yeah, not enough. <laughs> I want to give work, you more money. You work alone too, so it's not like you can get to go and just like you're never going to believe what happened to me last night. And some te- somebody's just like, "Who are you?" <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're you don't want to care about this. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. And you live here. You probably see Fred down at the market of every and Tuesday. My cousin. Yeah. And then uh, when I was in Amarillo the last night that I was in Texas, I went to this place and listened to like a country show, and it was just like a totally different energy of. It was a very whitewater esque spot. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was called the Golden Dive Bar esque Golden something or another. Yeah, yeah. Had a pleasant conversation with the baseball coach for the Amarillo College. There you go, man. (laughs) Oh, the things you can get into out of town. (laughs) I tell you what, man. You just come on down here. I tell you what. Next time you're in town, brother, just call me. I'll get you tickets, whatever. Yeah, I'll put you at shortstop. (laughs) Oh, shit. You put me on the team. Damn. Yeah, about seven people show up. Yeah, I played T-ball when I was seven. (laughs) I think I could probably still pull a couple tricks out of the bag. Uh Uh-uh. They're awful tricks. (laughs) Like, I could miss 100% of the swings I take. Exactly. That's a trick. I've talked about this. Yeah, my T-ball days were glorious. They used to make these highlight videos where they would, like, show the kids. You just hit the bottom of the tee and the ball just falls straight down. Yeah, or just not hit anything at all Uh, because my balance and my, uh, you know, coordination weren't the coolest things in the world. Watching kids play sports is one of the funniest fucking things in the world. Yeah. You ever watch children's soccer? I'm I'm actually helping my friend coach his son's <laughs> soccer team right now. And let me tell you something. Probably one of the dumber things uh, oh, I'll dude. have ever made the decision for. The In the sense, I love the idea of yes. like helping the kiddos. It's uh-huh. great. And oh, his son's is. awesome. And like it's yes. a good time. But I don't know shit about soccer. They don't I don't know either, the first brother. damn thing about soccer. That's, matter. that's the plus side here. They is don't that, either. Uh, yeah. There is. Oh, I went to... <laughs> but, I played soccer for one year in school, and we, I you know, because the tournaments all happen. Hilarious. I played soccer that I'm just now remembering, too. <laughs> I blocked this out of my memory. <laughs> like, like, no, you know, and, and so when you do the tournaments, everyone's there all ages. So you just, like, yeah. you're watching, and, dude, you'll see, like, what, they'll. I watched one kid score two goals for the opposite team <laughs> in a row. Well, I guess all we can do is cheer for you. One kid's just, like, looking around and shit. Their little fucking legs. Picking grass. Balls up to their fucking doing. waist. It's yeah. so funny. Well, I'm out there coaching now, and I'm, like, got my fucking shorts on like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I got like I'm just out there like hey good speed good speed yeah you're walking hey great footwork <laughs> yeah. that's all the things I know how to say I don't know like hey d- switch your lane I don't know what any of that shit means <laughs> like offsides I'm learning what offsides means in soccer like and I probably should have learned that a little bit before coaching a little bit before you said yes to being a coach yeah, yeah but you know what all the, the kids just need some good solid good. direction well you know what they're just having fun anyway exactly well, most stop. of them are they but, stop before they kick it they like stop and like set up and everybody lets them too which is funny they'll be like oh shit he's gonna kick it let him kick most, it. <laughs> most of them are ready there is this one kid out there that just like has that energy of everyone saying like is everybody ready and he's just like i don't know <laughs> it was like me when i was playing sports y'all sure y'all want to do this today maybe we go home and think about it specifically the other night we were doing an exercise a little drill and i said let's see what you got and yeah. he said not a lot <laughs> Oh, and for you to have that kind of comedic timing at nine, <laughs> you got a career ahead of you, kid. You, you just hand him a flyer. You're like, this is where you need to be. I'm bringing him it's to the joint so, next yeah, time we joint. go through here. I'm like, hey, fuck your soccer career, okay? We're going to get you up yeah. there with the comedians Not of the lot. world. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot. It was it was less that and more the <laughs> before he said it, like the <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> he, he loaded it and then shot it at me. Oh, my God. That's Which, yeah, fucking... that's so that's going well. <laughs> I mean, you're being a real adult, man. You're coaching yeah. Little League soccer. Yeah, doing, it sounds like weird. like a real job. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I told my buddy, I was like, I don't know how much I can fully commit to coaching a soccer team because mm-hmm. all the music and stuff going uh-huh. around because, you know, that takes um, a fucking lifestyle of its own to manage it's all that its own stuff. Thing. Yep. But uh, it is an, a fun time, like, kind of getting in and you know, work and some stuff like that, and like providing a positivity and a motivational oh, kind of thing behind I'm that. Just so. the moments are going to pay the, pay the, yeah. like that, that one, you know, like <laughs> yeah. that right there is worth all the thing. Cracked me up when yes. he said that. 
I, I think anyone listening right now probably just had a good chuckle. Like, that's worth it right <laughs> yeah, there. Exactly. Like, that's fucking awesome. Well, like I said, it reminds me of when I was a kid and playing sports. I didn't give a fuck. I was thinking about my Pokemon game at home, and I didn't give a shit about baseball or t-ball or whatever. <laughs> and when you watch the highlight videos back, which you can't. <laughs> Because right. they don't exist Thank anymore. God. Yeah. I remember I'd go up to bat at T-ball and like your parents would load in the lines that they would like read about you because, you know, I'm nine something fucking years old. Oh, so. out of the, like the little. Yeah. They would the like announcing? be commentating on uh-huh. the video and then like. Everybody I remember, loves Legos. Basically. But mine was, here comes Jacob Tyler McEwen. He loves pepperoni pizza and the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Which. Who don't? I mean, yeah, it's like who <laughs> now? Yeah, who doesn't who love this? Yeah. But Brody Pizza and the Backstreet Boys, baby. I still do, baby. <laughs> Yo, but at the clearly time, I love pizza. <laughs> but at the time, I'm like, oh. and I'll never shy away from singing it. Yeah. Oh God, no! They oh, knew too dude, much about it's me. It's like the most cringe thing in the world. It's like your mom picking you up from school and having to go down the hallway with everybody. Awesome. <laughs> <sighs> and then they queued up the John Fogarty song and like to highlight to me missing a fucking T ball. <laughs> put me in, coach. I was not ready to play. Put me in, coach. <laughs> Do not put me in, coach. <laughs> Lift it. Try again, Ty. Try again. <laughs> oh, come on. Next time. You'll you get him next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to go to one of the nice Whoa, private schools wiffle around ball, here. Wiffleball, private school, whatever it is. T ball. <laughs> that would have been more my speed. Wiffleball. Wiffleball's yeah. Wiffleball's fun. Yeah, if only not I could anymore. Go back. They turn that into a serious thing now too. Is they make the wiffle ball harder? It's not wiffle yeah, anymore. Dude, have you seen these fucking things? They it's ruffle this... ball now. It's like yeah, a real ruffle rough ball. Text there you go. texture on it. They they're throwing it a hundred miles an hour. It's coming in. It's like and they make that ball do insane shit. And they have like a piece of like aluminum catching the ball now. It's yeah. it's weird. I've only seen a couple highlight videos of it, but they're you yeah, know they're working uh, magic on that. Just like everything, ball. they took everything and went. You know how how crazy can we go? Like slapping is a fucking thing. Have you seen this now where they're giving people <laughs> I was watching CTE that the other night. and the guy's face just melts down and he's like, oh, it's okay. Keep that going. That show? Like, you're fucked. I'm assuming you're talking about the one that's like the, it's the, the only Dana one. White one, right? It's the like, only one, yeah. The one yeah, that's like, like a on CBS. Event. Yeah. I was watching crazy. that for like the first time the other night and it was like a car crash. I couldn't it's turn away. I couldn't turn away. It was like... like I it's was like this where your fingers are through like this can't be real. And they're in that like their house that they all stay in and they're God. just like, um, well, when we fight, I'm like, you're not fighting, you're just punch you're, you're just slapping, slapping the shit out of each other, other and like <laughs> break like brain cells are getting destroyed. Literally in real time. We're <laughs> watching it in real time. And they're like tra- the most hilarious part about that was them training for a slap fight. You go in the gym and you do like slap motions over and over again. I was like, what? They're good. You know what's there's gonna be a piece of gym equipment that comes out of this, more than one. They're yeah. gonna have arm like arm reaching like little slappy things, hands, little slappy thing. hands, a face. They're gonna have a you face, put your face with, in it. They'll put sensors in it to tell you how hard and how fast. Like you know it's coming. And it's the most ridiculous like we've ran out of shit. That's what it silliness we, we ran out it's they're silliness. like well what else is left and they go mm, i mean people are just slapping people on the internet it started with that big ass russian dude completely clowning that one guy now granted i say this fully knowing that i did watch it <laughs> oh, all of it i didn't, <laughs> I, I, didn't watch all of it. I, I saw that clip where that dude's face literally got paralyzed after i was seeing that and i was like i'm out i can't i can't watch someone <laughs> fuck their so self up aware. like the balloon tapping on Balloon tapping Olympics. Were you talking about where you keep it up? Yeah. You got slapping contests. You got balloon, balloon tapping, tapping, slapping, balloon tapping. We Take had a good run. We're done. We're done. We got balloon yeah. tapping Olympics. We've got enough balloon troubles going on, okay? Yeah, yeah. We don't need to be yeah. thinking about tapping them, okay? <laughs> balloon cup. <laughs> balloon <We're done>. cup. <laughs> Have you seen Dodgeball? They're like ESPN 8, the Ocho. <laughs> yeah, the Ocho. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, balloon tapping on the Ocho. <laughs> Well, I mean, I feel like that's something I could. That used be to be good a game at. you played with your brother in the house because you're bored as shit. Yep, you're keep like, it off the floor. Can't get over the couch. I can't. I'm not big enough. <laughs> you know. Well, now they have an outlet for that. <laughs> what is happening? <sighs> Too much crazy shit. <laughs> Music <laughs> yeah, and balloon tapping, Music which I'm going to find my tap. way into a coaching gig on. Hey, that. you know, ironically, balloon tapping at a music event. Surprisingly fun. Yeah, open up a little balloon you do case. The, you do the, the beach balls. Yeah. People love that shit. Open your balloon bag and get tips put Could in you it. imagine? Or the balloon fall. That's always a huge one. Yeah. You've heard of people playing music on street corners. Well, you haven't get lived until you've seen balloon tapping. Put mics inside the balloons, Bluetooth microphones, and now y'all are a part of the event. Live streaming on Twitch. Just a bunch of... I love just it. Bouncing around. It's like ASMR at that point. <laughs> you know what? 
that's a thing now. You just said it out loud and guaranteed. He said, put a microphone inside a balloon and bounce it around. And he's just like, that's ASMR. Guaranteed there's people yeah, that are going to be like, no, it's, I, I just think it sounds fluffy. That's it sounds like this. Fun, Kurt. It sounds like this. Ready? <laughs> that's it. It's an untapped market. So that we're going to give you the opportunity to get into. <laughs> get on your Twitch stream tonight. Go get your balloon and microphone. We got to get a Bluetooth mic. So like those are a little expensive. Oh, just get one of the lapel ones. Shove the little wire in there. You're fine. <laughs> Perfectly fine. You're just shaking it around anyway. <laughs> as far as music's concerned, <laughs> we're gonna set, so we're gonna step away from the balloon tapping conversation. Listen, <laughs> it's we'll going go nowhere. Down, we'll go down this rabbit hole. Listen, you've already got your superstars in that world. We have nothing to contribute to <laughs> balloon right. tapping. What is on your calendar? What do you got in the pipeline? I don't know. Well, there's a show. Lame Johnny's playing a show. That's all I can say because it's not confirmed yet i guess so i don't want to like put it but it is it is we are playing a show and so it's been three years since we've done anything yeah which i remember last time you told uh, me the story about the name yeah a hoot and a half a hoot and a half and that's it's going to be weird because i haven't done those kind of vocals in three years also yeah and it took me two years to get the to stamina get up last it. time like the stamina and like the the way, so I'm hoping I didn't lose too much of that. You ever give years. it any goes in the shower or anything? No, like that. man. Well, you <laughs> scream like in the shower, your wife's <laughs> just like hearing. Just Is everything okay? <laughs> going full force in the fucking shower to fucking scare my dog. <laughs> I'm just like I don't know what's happening. So like that that part's got me a little worried. Everything else, like we just got a practice space last week, dude. We just yeah. had our first practice in three months. Uh, to Thursday, back in the saddle. So it's it's slow going. Um, uh, I wish I had more, honestly. Crows is looking to bu- play some shit. Yeah. Who's in uh, Crows with you? My wife is the front lady. Oh, and... this is what you played the Almost cover with at the mall at one point in time. Is it like the group that you've like had with your wife for a while? No, 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 no. That was a whole different thing. Oh, okay, that was just okay, like okay, this okay, cover okay, band yeah. thing. No, this is this is a new newer thing. Uh, this is all originals. Um, it's kind of like the 68 meets Paramore was kind of like the vibe. I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, more. It's kind of like a blues pop punk rock thing and it's just she's singing ian's playing like the whole split guitar track so oh. it's like it's going through a bass cap and a guitar cap yeah, yeah yeah and we went you know we got all the bigger cabinets and shit and and then i'm drumming <clears throat> there's only one vocalist it's just no her and man, well me and him will do like we'll do like chant like gang style shit but we just scream it out loud yeah nothing kind of where you gotta coordinate rock. the yeah. whole thing of it all and yeah we're just writing shit uh that one's been going good. We're t- we're gonna play some more shows. Get uh, tighten it back up because we took a little break. Too. You know the holidays, man. Everything yeah. fucking gets weird. Yeah. And then hopefully, hopefully there'll be like towards May, we'll be really putting it down. Nice. Because I'd like to see Shinfo play some more shows. Yeah. Which I saw y'all play at the benefit show, right? The toy yep. benefit drive. Yeah. Like, that, that was, was fucking sick. awesome. That was an awesome show. Yeah. And the yeah, and of, the amount of toys that got put together, which dude, awesome it was job crazy. putting that together. Everybody involved. Oh, yeah. The end of the end of the night, like watching just trash bags of toys get yeah. carted out. I was like, "That's fucking sick." Yeah, somebody's getting home alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, it was like it's ironically hard though because you know, like those are sick children, so you can't just get them a football. Like that's yeah. not how it works. Yeah, it's something they can solitarily be there. Yeah, when I was going through Target before I went there and like kind of trying to think of what toys to be involved, I, it hit me then when I was looking at it. I was like, "Oh, this is probably a age range of." Like right. young, young to like right. towards and they're upper teenage there. years and stuff. Yeah. And so I didn't know what exactly the direction, but it looked like there was a yeah, wide variety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no Crown Royal. <laughs> <laughs> no Crown Royal. <laughs> Bring a Crown Royal we little did like set with like the glass figure, in it. What? Like action figures, Legos, like those those cushy yeah. doll things, you know, like. Yeah. Some plushes. P- plushies. There you go. Yeah. Stuff like that. You know, and that was fun as fuck. That I, I want to do a birthday one. I want to do a Shinfo birthday show uh, with Zash, actually. I was talking to him about that on the podcast. I wanted yeah. to do it up in Cersei. I know that uh, old Jackson from Zash is out of. The yeah, he's in Italy. Right yeah. So um, no, they'll be like hitting the ground running when they get back. I think that's like the day after he gets back. He said oh. he was down. So I was like. Where would that be at? In their grandpa shed. Is that the name of the venue? I'm no, it's grandpa. like you know, their whole thing was like, oh, you, you can go listen to that episode. He talks about it. it was like they that's where they got their whole thing. Oh, and that's his where they play. Shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's well, like, dude, cool. let's do a shed show, dude. It sounds fun as shed fuck. Show. Yeah. Shed shows. Oh, I've done a few. I had a few at my house. Remember mm-hmm. my house you came to? 
that yeah. white oh, yeah, shed yeah, yeah. where we had our practice space Ooh. at. We had probably like 10 shows out there. You had some okay distance between, like, I mean, you had that neighbor back there, which like, I mean, I don't know what he'd think about it, but like outside of that, you had some distance away from like people. It seemed like it, it was pretty all right. And plus I'd been jamming there for so long. All the people, they were they like, knew. whatever. So long as you're done by nine, they didn't give a fuck. I had to like go around and tell people there were going to be people running around. I had, that was like 20 years ago. Shit. Oh, okay. So well, you yeah. do it so long and that neighborhood was just that neighborhood. And then once the business moved in, fuck, you know, fuck them. Yeah. Plus there was that one place out in Whitehall that like did that a lot. What was that place? Cabin. The cabin. Yeah. The cabin. I've only played there once with all Venice, I think. It was like, yeah, the blast from the There's past. been a handful of those pop off, you yeah. know. You need those places, too. Maybe twice. I can't remember. need a couple that. more of those, honestly. Locally, I mean, they're cool. They're definitely like a slice of like a great time, like right there when you're having it. And like, if, it's especially if you like don't do it all the time, you That's like right. have a show every once in a while there. You're like, oh, yeah, they're having like one there once again. Every six months, yeah. A once, maybe like every quarter, and you like know. Pack it out. And just pack have it a out. Fucking, and like great time. Like three we're like it's something like that. We're like fifty people, and this is about to be nuts. Yeah, you know, you know, it's like everybody in the band is almost sold out already, and you're just there to have a good fucking time. Yeah, it just like takes me back to two thousand what fucking ten. Fear, <laughs> Fear of the aftermath with uh, <laughs> like, who's another band that would have been on that bill? Like, Tomorrow brings the agony. Oh shit! Uh, wow. Sl- uh, Signs for sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A couple of those other. Those shows we were booking. You just put every <laughs> band you know because you're all friends. Literally. Get there yeah. at noon, we and you'll get out at midnight. And they all said yes. Of course, of course, they said yes because there was nothing, dude. It's like, well, Vino's is gonna let us play. They're not even having shows anymore. Yeah. It's like we have nothing, dude. Downtown's gone. Vino's is gone. It's all gone. <laughs> Downtown's like a hotel now. Yeah, like the it upper is. End looking dude, hotel. The they have front, valet. The front is the valet. <laughs> yeah. Like where the stage used to be, you park your fucking car. <laughs> oh, how times change. Oh man. <laughs> They 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 made they made no haste tearing all that shit yeah. apart. Which been good for them, I guess. I guess whatever. <laughs> so Remove our options. Why don't you? We got them back now. We got yeah, a couple. There's enough that They're are popping back around now. and such. I think, for sure. I think we need one more. Personally which, speaking, I think we could benefit from a smaller one. Yeah, like a forty cap, fifty cap. Which I know that like. Um, Every once in a while, you get your opportunity to drop some stuff at like Will's place and everything, and like that's a yeah. nice resource for like a cool like later night show. It seems like which uh, knock on wood, I've never had a bad eyes wh- house show. It may be exactly. Right here. I'm a dummy. Uh, <laughs> knock on wood that like no problems ever coming out of that. But it surprises me so much that the shows go off there without a Dude, hitch the as well as they do. After show, I'll never fucking yeah. Oh yeah, were you there? Because I, I, I yeah. played with color design on that one, and uh, I, like yeah, that was a I great was time on Dude, that one too. Like two o'clock in the yeah, morning. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> unfucking right. real, dude! And yeah. it was like I didn't even go inside. I was just listening from. I was like, I'm not yeah. going in there. That's insane. Yeah, that was awesome. I, I was like very excited to be a part of that because I just knew that the <laughs> crowd that would be involved with that, and just like the amount of people that, and everybody stayed the whole time. Yeah, the energy flowed the over from Bangor to up. get there. Yeah, exactly. Which I know that that's going to be just something they want to keep the energy of that rolling forward on, like yearly and right. annual thing for that. So I can only imagine what is in the future for that for that festival. Oh, uh, that's going to be, afraid. yeah. Oh, there if, you go. That's Evan the reunion. Could have his way. That's what it is. See? We're just yeah. Between moves. creeping death uh-huh. and fuming mouth, I was afraid gets up and stumbles through a set there you go. for the first time in years. I was afraid Jungle Juice, Pet, Morbid. We, d- we did. Oh, God. Did, we took a four-year I want to buy tickets now. I'm just saying, like, we took a four. I think it comes back. It's like muscle memory, man. Like, my ass and war, me and Justin went yeah. out to a shed one day after four years. We never played one of those songs at all. And we still knew enough to get a set through, and we wrote three more yeah. in one night. Yeah. I mean, like, once you find that pocket of, like, like this is what it took for us to do when it then. it's the and, same like, you guys you with for a decade, you yeah. know? Like, you've just you've been friends. You still know yeah. the thing. And the style is something you clearly, I like, have, you manifested exactly. and made your own. I have no doubt that when, like, me, Evan, Darby, and Pat get in a room again, it's going to, like, flow out just like that for sure. And, like, it can flow now regularly, too, but just with things that have been happening, like, the way they have and everybody kind of handling their own business, it just happens in the time that it does. And older shit's real motherfucker. Right. Yeah. We're all hitting 30 (laughs) in the sense of, like, what we're experiencing, right? fucking like this, man. Yeah. But uh, it is what it is, and like that band will always be around as long as like we care about it. And we, all, <coughs> right. we all still do right. so, even if it's once every now and then. Yeah, and which like, we haven't tons d- of bands like that. Yeah, haven't done anything in a minute. Uh, I know that there are some like songs that I was afraid have had recorded for a long time that we're like working on finishing and like Ooh. getting out. So, um, 
that'll be because uh, along with the same line of thinking we just got like no love uh, mm-hmm. that first album that we had done yeah. and the split that we had with like ugly and, a, and another song on it which ugly was an i was afraid song that people still kind of shout out every once in a while it's like something that they really appreciated so that's always cool to hear but we put those on spotify here recently for like them to be just streamable everywhere yeah. and then i guess that conversation is just kind of followed up with like well we will have a plan eventually in place to put the other stuff that we right. have that we just sat on forever when yeah. the, uh, the wheels didn't fall off but we essentially we put the car in the shop <laughs> you know feel ya <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> big time feel ya yeah exactly just one of those things like we know that this is not ever going to be off of our plate entirely but right. it's something that's just we're eating another meal at the moment dude yeah and there are I mean like I was saying like there's a lot of that that this band only plays once every two years but the second they announce it it's just this tent pole fucking event where everyone's yeah. like oh shit yeah you know we're going to that which that would be the hope is that eventually when like you know the same like way you think about my hands to war like that I was afraid and whenever we put a show together that it's just going to be like a hell of a show and right. have some real good people that we want to be involved on it it's, it's like you get to pick time. the thing you get to pick all the little aspects of it add yeah. this thing add that thing do this yeah. whatever like let's make it fun let's have a you know, some sort of like do, do a dunk tank, like who, you know, something yeah, more some special like, than just a show. It's like, we do this once every two years. Yeah. Increase the spectacle of it. Yeah. Yeah. The anything. spectacle of it, the event Which, of it all. Evan's a show booking extraordinaire. So I know that whenever it comes around time for that, that it's going to be everything yeah, yeah, that yeah. it needs to be for yeah. sure. So, which I know he's like booking a lot of stuff for Morbid Visions and they're going out and hitting the road and stuff. Dude. And they're like playing a lot of cool stuff right it's now. It's insane. So. Talk about hit the ground yeah. fucking running. Yeah, that's one of his big skills is that any band that Evan is in is mm-hmm. going to be like set up to like have contacts in place of like knowing who and where you need to play to keep the it's upper like, trajectory. It's so. like y'all better be ready. Yeah, for you sure. Know, you better be fucking ready because yeah. this shit's about to get gangbusters immediately. For damn Where are we sure. at, Kurt? We're at, we're at Arkansas. Hour and a half, right? <laughs> Hour and a half. Two hours. Yeah, oh, see? Hey, cheers, so, buddy. <laughs> you want to call it good? Or do you yeah, want to keep going? Yeah, we're, I'm all good, too. I mean, like, we've been chatting. It's been good. Anything else? In the I'm chamber? Not, I'm not really doing much, man. I will have more in the next few because, you know, maybe next time I'll do podcasts sound like this because I'm about to start having to scream again. <laughs> yeah, the raspiness like, is going to be back. You know, because of practice. What's a band practice? Like two, three hours. Yeah. It's not like... The show's only 30 minutes. It's the practices that get you. Yeah, now that I'm doing the <coughs> aggressive vocals, we'll just both be in here on my third round. Of average, but yeah, well, we're doing music still. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm like, yes. I, I fucked up, man. I had tacos before we played last night. Shit's all crazy. Yeah, they say it's not good. It's not. <laughs> There's enzymes so good. in the cheese. Tacos so good. Dude, tacos always sound good. I eat tacos literally five nights a week. <laughs> I'm not it's kidding. Like, yeah, I really time. do. It's I'm gonna die. It's like a regular taco experience. <laughs> it's like I know that they're coming for me yeah, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just do my wife will text me like, "What do you want for dinner?" And I'm like, "You already know what's your preferred taco." What, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, a taco. <laughs> Put it in a tortilla and serve it to me. I don't care. Here's a question for you. This we, was we can do authentic street style. We can do like you know American Tex Mex style. I don't yeah. give a shit. Oh, absolutely. That sounds like an abomination. Dude, I had macaroni and cheese and uh, green beans and beef last night. And on a taco? No. I was about to say. That, but I would have eaten it on a taco. It's like a Thanksgiving taco. Oh, no. yeah. 100% I would have. Dude, I'm not. Yeah. It's just, it's a, just a tortilla. It's just a vessel <laughs> just to a get tortilla. it into your face hole. That's all it is. They I'm just, without a fork, so I put it on a tortilla. They were like, we don't have utensils, but we got all this dough. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, put a fucking pizza. <laughs> it's actually the opposite. I'll put a it's whole, like putting bread I'll, in play. Hey, I'll put a whole slice of fucking pizza in a tortilla, <laughs> a tortilla. and call that a taco and eat that a shit. A pizza taco? A hundred percent. With the crust still. I'm talking, pull it out of the Domino's box, put that shit in a tortilla, heat it up. Oh, like, you know you've gone too far when you make a tortilla taco? <laughs> Dude, oh, yeah. fucking pizza pillows in a burrito. <laughs> In a burrito, deep it's fried, you're fucking, I mean, it's game change. You put it fucking, <laughs> you cover it in, uh, uh, what's that, sawdust? The sawdust. The, sawdust. the shaky cheese. You uh, put actual sawdust uh, on it. Parmesan. Parmesan. Parmesan, thank you. <laughs> sawdust cheese. It's <laughs> sawdust. You cover the pizza pillows in the shaky cheese. Yeah, no. <laughs> pizza pillows and sawdust. <laughs> no, I'm so not that. No, they got busted putting sawdust in it, crafted. Oh, really? They, they, yeah, they've been feeding you sawdust That's since you That's why it's child. so good. Uh-huh. 
It's just flavored sawdust. Look it up. I'm not I making this to. up. That's real. That actually to. happened. You ever tried to burn American cheese? It doesn't. <laughs> it, doesn't it doesn't melt. Oh, it's God. fucking plastic, my friend. Yeah, you're eating plastic. <laughs> You said you need to read more. I'm just giving you <laughs> yeah, stuff to I, read. That's my third experience. You've been eating of... <laughs> sawdust your whole life, and they serve you plastic at Burger King. <laughs> Tonight's light reading will be uh, <clears throat> how to play soccer. That's right. <laughs> and uh, and, che- and cheesy sawdust. <laughs> and fucking, and fucking <laughs> while you enjoy a nice pizza pillow burrito. Just uh, big green with my sawdust cheese. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Let's get the fuck out of here. Peace. <laughs> Goodbye.